Hello, everybody. We're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. Hopefully, you're all doing good today. Uh, Lil Panchito, thank you so much for the two months. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Hope you're doing great. I did a bit of grinding yesterday off stream. Um, didn't really get anything too notable. I was actually uh, hanging out in uh, Brobra and uh, Caitlin and Nathan's streams. So I was just grinding while they were streaming and just chatting with them. And uh, yeah. We're up to 1,351 kills in the Fallow Great One grind. We're going to hope that we can get something today. I just realized I reset the time wrong. There we go. 12.18. Yeah, we got one more day. This is our final day to get an early access Great One. If we don't get it today, then we got to wait for full release, where we will be uh, going crazy on Tiabaroa. Should be uh, pretty nice. Hopefully, everything will go well. Peyton, thank you for uh, jumping into the stream. Really appreciate it, dude. Uh, Nicholas, how's it going, dude? Welcome, welcome. Uh, Kato, Trophy Hunter, Michael, Ranch and Ride, Levi, AJ, Bucks Wanted, Brighton, Braxton, Jason, Michael, Chope, Caleb. How's it going, everybody? I saw Brober in there at one point too. So, hey, Brober, how, how's it going there? Let's see what we got here. You know, we got one buck, so I'm sorry, man. You're going down, too. Rest in pieces to that little doe. There was no other buck, so I had to do it. I had to do it, man. Still hyped for tomorrow. Got to renew my Xbox Live, though, first. Oh, yeah. Got to make sure that's ready to go. Got to make sure that's ready to go so you can get straight into the action, man. Got to get straight into the action. Let's see what we got over here. This lake's actually become a really good one. The one, with, the one that we're going to next. It's really nice. Figured sure out the same question before, but do you get to keep what you have in early access? No, I don't get to keep anything from early access. We are doing the this uh, early access grind strictly for the achievement. Strictly just for the experience. Hello, little red deer. How you doing, buddy? Pop that little fella right there. Hey, Antris, how's it going? Hope you're doing great. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Hype for the hog deer. Easily my favorite species. Nice. Maddox, that's awesome. They are pretty cool. They're definitely cool. Nice, hunting gods, nice. Just got a level 3 whitetail with a 270 to 311 estimate. Holy. That's probably going to be a, a 270 plus, I would say. In fact, it's guaranteed. Beautiful. How many kills am I into the grind? Uh, 1,353. We are uh, getting up there. That's for sure. We're getting up there, man. Oh no, I forgot to reload. <laughs> I definitely should have paid attention to that. Thankfully, we got him though. We got him good. Am I going to do a setup guide? Um, Maybe at some point, but it'll probably have to wait until we get our Tiaboroa grind done. Uh, cause during the Tiaboroa Fallow grind, I'm gonna be pretty focused on that. Ooh, that was weird. We just lagged hard for a second. Are Fallow easier to grind than Whitetail for you? No, right now the Whitetail are easier. But that's partially just because I'm still trying to understand how the Fallow Deer work. And, uh, adjusting to how they do work. Yeah, the Crocs do look really good. I wouldn't say the others look like plastic, though. I like the other ones. But the Crocs do look really nice. They they did a great job on them. Probably one of the better animal models in the game, if I were to uh if I were to say. Nice, Huntress. Yeah. It's actually it's less than a day away till the update drops, guys. Less than one day away before everybody gets a chance to jump on and play. It's gonna be pretty big. Well, she got away. 
Yeah, it's going to be a pretty huge update. I'm excited. I want to see uh, what everybody's reaction is going to be when it drops because, you know, you can only get so much from watching streams and things like. Got to really play it to get the full experience and get a full opinion on it. So I'm really interested to see what everybody's uh, thoughts are going to be on the update. I think it's a pretty good one. I have not ran into many bugs aside from like some freezing uh, quail. So it's been pretty decent as of now. Not a lot of bugs from what I've seen. At least I have not ran into a lot of bugs. Uh, let's see. Did I change anything around tent wise? I don't think so. I just got those two there. I've kind of just been working five lakes really. We're down to a point where we're just working like five lakes. Do we know the exact time that it releases? Um, yeah, roughly between like 2 and 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is between 5 and 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then you can use that to convert to your uh, local time zones. Biggest fallow? My biggest fallow has been like 262, so not super huge. Uh, but they did change the, uh, the diamonds around. So all the diamond scores are a bit different than before. I have yet to see a rack um, above 262. And I've killed quite a few uh, fallow deer at this point. Decent bit of diamond ones. And yeah, just nothing above 262. So I'm really curious if they can reach 270. I'm not sure if uh, iBuy has got a 270 plus or not. It used to be, though, that you could get a 270 plus uh, fallow deer diamond easily. I, well, I guess I wouldn't say easily, but if you hunted them a lot, you were going to eventually get one. But I haven't seen anything big so far. It really seems like they changed them a lot. Are the fallow deer grindable on Emerald Coast? Yes, definitely. It's actually not that bad. I wouldn't take it over Tiawaroa for like a full grind, but you can totally get a good grind going on Emerald Coast. It's really good. Like I would say that this is about equivalent to Leighton Whitetail or Revon Tuli Whitetail, but Tiawaroa is just so much better that... I would still take Tiabaroa. It's crazy that Tiabaroa is that good, that it's better than something that's equivalent to Rev, pretty much. That's just wild. Because Rev on Tuli Whitetail is considered to be one of the best grinds in the game, in terms of like the ease of the grind. But uh, this is about the same, I would say. Which just goes to show how crazy Tiabaroa is. Big four there. Also, I randomly had a new herd show up here. I have no clue where they came from, uh, but I've shot them down to twos, so we're just leaving them now. There we go. Three bucks down. We're not doing too bad so far. Ten kills in ten minutes. We're getting a pretty good pace going here, and it'll only improve as we go along. As I kind of get in the groove of the grind of the day. Or groove of the grind for the day. That would be the way to say it, I think. Any diamonds yet? No, no diamonds. Uh, best thing we got was like a 220. Hopefully we'll get more than a diamond today. I'm hoping to get a, uh, a great one. Also, guys, we got a brand new video coming out at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So, stay tuned for that. It's going to be covering all of the brand new uh, true racks for all the different animals that got it. So it should be pretty good. Should be pretty cool. Oh no, chicken. That sucks, dude. I am sorry to hear that. That is a big four there. Let's blast him real quick. Actually, you know what? I'm going to shoot this too as well. I like this zone right here, and I like having um, a lot of deer to shoot out of it. Saw so Springbok got the new True Rex. Yeah, they did. I'm not a big fan of the Springbok. I think 
They're fine, but it's a little underwhelming. They are slightly underwhelming. However, the bison are really nice. I like the bison a lot. They did good with them. Tron, thank you for the super chat, dude. What time tomorrow does the update release to all? To all? It's going to be like 2 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Or like 4 a.m. Eastern, or I mean 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Approximately, you know, give or take a little bit. Oh, that's a big boy four. That is a really good four. That's probably 230s. Maybe low 240s. Now, let's see if there's any others. Because that was only one of the herds. There's usually two herds here. That is what it is. We'll just go get that one. You're ready to stay up night? Nice, Johnny. Nice. It's gonna be wild. Look at you. That's a good fallow. 239. That is a solid fallow deer. I like the fallow a lot. This rework really just breathed like new life into them. It's quite good. Oh, no worries, uh, English Call of the Wild. No worries. Or is it ENG Call of the Wild? Is it ENG Call of the Wild, or is it, like, short for English? How many kills in the whole grind? Um, we're currently at 1,364. And how many diamonds? Uh, no diamonds today. I think overall... I probably killed, mm, I would say, 15 or so, maybe. I will have to go into the lodge and check it real quick. Just kill those does since there's no bucks here. Just so you guys know, shooting does does not, like, ruin your zone in fallow deer grinding. As long as you leave at least one animal in that herd, then it's fine. So I've just been killing does to kind of spread the pressure around since I'm only hunting like five lakes now. Try to get a little pressure at each one and off the odd chance that maybe a buck will swap with them. If I can get more into one herd. Just glad the crocs are more visible than the gators. Yeah, they're nice. I like them a lot. Oh, geez, Gregor, that's wild. Can we hunt some geese? I've not seen them yet. I still don't know how to hunt them very well. So whenever I learn how to effectively hunt them, I'll have a video on it. But the magpies are tough because the uh, crocodiles scare them off all the time. Ma'am, what are you doing just popping up like that? Is fallow deer getting a reset? Yes, they will need a reset because of the great one. The great one being added will make it so they need to be reset. I uh, know I have not checked the new and improved gators. Um, I probably will soon, though. Definitely can expect that in the near future. What time will the map release? Around like 2 to 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, could one of the uh, moderators... Actually, never mind. I'll do it myself. There we go. I just needed a pinned message, so... There we go. There we go. There's the release time right there. Now, one thing to keep in mind is EW does not give a specific time. So, like, the, it could be a little bit later, could be a little earlier. It's just going to be around that time. Usually, they release it sometime between 2 and 3. Though there have been a couple occasions where it took like an extra 30 minutes to an hour or something, so just expect it sometime around there. 
No, that's not bad. Golden game. I, I want them to do the same, man. And for Red Deer. Red Deer need new fur types for the great one. What time am I streaming tomorrow? Um, I have no clue, Blake. As soon as I can. I think I'll probably do a video first tomorrow. I'll get a uh, highlight video ready with all of the uh, highlights from early access. And uh, yeah, then we'll get into the grinding. I think that's how we'll do it. They should do a fabled piebald for the red deer. I don't think they will because they make each uh, each species have like unique stuff, right? Oh, big five. Big five. That's a big boy five right there. Nice. All right, we got our first five of the day. Please make it. I don't know if it will. Ah, I think that's a troll. Maybe. I think he's going to troll. I, I think he is. Either way, he's still really nice. No clue, Ander. No clue. Um, tonight, Liam. So, like, 4 a.m. meaning less than a day away, you know? Come on. Make it. Yeah, it's 2.30s. I kind of expected that. Feels bad. Unfortunate. But it is what it is, you know? Can't win them all, as they would say. Holy troll, I know, right? The trolls are bad. Uh, Fallow do troll a lot now. I'd say it's about 50-50 with Fallow Deer. Half of them troll, half of them make diamond with the level fives. So it's definitely not a guaranteed diamond when you see a Fallow Deer level five. But it's kind of always been like that, I guess. Double twos, and where's this herd? Okay, that herd does not want to show up. Very unfortunate. Yeah, the kangaroos do troll a lot. They troll so much, man. Uh, it's actually kind of rough. Like, uh, Both of my roos trolled. The only notable roo that I've got was that albino, and that's because an albino can't troll because it's just an albino. <laughs> Holy Christopher, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Can't find the link to renew my membership. Um, You should be able to click the link that is right below that super chat. And if that link doesn't work, there's one in the description as well. So yeah, you can do that. Thank you so much for the super chat though. Albino trolls to a common. Could you imagine? You pick it up and he's just wearing a uh, he's just wearing a disguise as an albino, it's, and it's not actually one. That'd be, be terrible. Well, she is way too sneaky. Just dodging my bullets. Uh, Jaren, thank you for the super chat, dude. Will the new map be good for grinding for Fallow? It'll be decent. Like, it, it's a really good map, but it's not going to be better than Tiabaroa. And that's not because it's a bad grinding map. It's because Tiabaroa is just so uh, far and above most maps in terms of Fallow grinding. But this one's a solid one. Like, you can totally get a grind going pretty quickly. It's really good. I like it a lot. Is the new map worth it? I think it is. I definitely think it is. But, you know, we've got a bunch of content out on it, so you can kind of make that decision for yourself as well. Like, we got lots of footage released. Uh, the first video I did was like 58 minutes long. Shows off all the animals and stuff like that. So, if you're still unsure, that video gives you a good overview of the map. But, uh, personally, I think it's the best map they've ever made. Ah, it's a big four. Not as big as I hoped. Wow, 
Why am I shooting the females? Uh, just to move pressure around and also because sometimes you can get the females to swap with the males. And with the fallow deer, shooting a female is not going to delete your zone unless you like shoot everything except one. So I'm just doing it. Not to mention if there's nothing, if there's like one buck there, I might as well just shoot a doe as well. I feel like something that needs to be explained better in the community, right? Whenever we're doing grinds is the reason we do stuff for different species, right? Because since whitetail, you don't want to shoot does because it can risk, uh, you can risk just deleting that zone. You can risk, uh, that doe combining with a couple bucks and making a new zone. Like there's a lot of stuff that can happen with whitetail, but I think something a lot of us creators need to explain better sometimes is that like that, that's a whitetail specific thing. Whitetail, it's really bad to shoot the females because, you know, you don't know what's going to happen with that herd. But with something like black bear grinding, you can shoot the females and the males to get them to swap zones and eventually you can get all your males in just a couple lakes and then you got yourself an efficient grind. And something like the fallow deer, um, I'm, I've am i been getting females and males to swap quite a bit. And it's also not hurting the uh, grind like it would with whitetail, so... It's definitely different. Alrighty. Oh, no worries, Campbell. No worries. Do what you gotta do, you know? Is the map hard? Uh, not too much, no. It's got a good balance. That's the other big boy four that got away last time. Yeah, I wouldn't say this map is hard. I would say, if anything, it's got a pretty good balance of like difficulty and enjoyment. Like it's not going to be as easy as just walking onto Silver Ridge Peaks and uh, smoking everything in sight. Uh, but it's also not as difficult as a map like Mississippi or something like that. Like, it's, it's got a good balance. There's parts of the map that are really open. There's parts of the map that are brushy. There is species that drink in the daytime in really easy spots. And then there is, uh... There's also species that drink at nighttime that are harder to get. Like, there's a lot of, um... A lot of good stuff. Two eighteen, one thirty-eight. Hey, Caitlin, how's it going? Yeah, it is. Mississippi's not easy. It's a tough map to hunt, for sure. Have I ever spawned multiple great ones at the same time on the same map or heard uh, or heard of that happening? Um, I've stacked them before. I've never got them all to spawn in the same run, but I have stacked. Uh, I've stacked great ones before where I essentially got one to spawn and then just kept grinding till more spawned. I've done that with Whitetail a few times. Always fun. Uh, yeah, Flint, I've got a few different rares in early access. We managed to get a melanistic fallow. We got like five or six piebald fallow deer. Uh, most of them were before I could show footage off, so I don't think I've even posted them yet. And then uh, we got a piebald red deer. We also ended up getting... What else did we get? We got an albino kangaroo. I know that. What are the rares, though? I think that was it. Oh no, Albino Banting. We did get the Albino Banting as well. Lots of cool rares. That is a big four, but it's not a five.
I am sorry, ma'am, but there's only one buck, so you're going down as well. Feels bad to be you. Oh yeah, we got a diamond red deer. That's not a that's not a rare though. That is not a rare fur type though. Any different species? Uh yeah, somebody's done it before. I haven't personally. All I've done is like stacking uh whitetail. I've never uh had multiple of different like multiple different species with a great one on the map at the same time. I think a couple people have though from what I remember. I don't remember the names of them though. But I definitely think I've heard of that. You know, I thought I could hit that next shot, but uh I thought wrong. Did not get it. It is what it is, though. How to get so many diamonds? Uh, with a grinding method called herd management. It's essentially where you just don't shoot the smaller animals. So, like, for white-tailed deer, just don't shoot the level ones. And eventually you'll get so many level ones on your map that the game will try to compensate by spawning in level threes. And just bigger level twos in general. Does the 30 out 6 work for kangaroos? Yes, it does. It will work perfectly fine for them. Kangaroos are a class 4, so any class 4 rifle will be usable on them. How long does it take for the level 3s to spawn when doing herd management? Uh, well... To get it to a point where you're getting like level threes like every single run, that requires you to get like 70% or more of the map to be level ones. So it's not a quick process. Uh, but to start seeing like basic results, it's like maybe a few hundred kills. You'll start seeing maybe a couple more pop up, but it won't be like an extreme amount. It's all about getting like a percentage of the map to be uh, low levels, right? So it's hard to gauge how long it's going to be before you'll actually start seeing stuff pay off, right? Because everybody's respawns are going to pop up differently. Uh, there's going to be some times where maybe you'll get really unlucky on a grind and you'll just end up getting level one whitetail super slowly. Like, uh, it's unpredictable a little bit. Some people's grinds go quicker than others. But in general, like, I think it took me maybe a hundred hours of grinding Whitetail on Layton before I started seeing a lot of uh, threes popping up. And then it took probably another hundred hours to get it really managed, like, all the way to where I was getting a Diamond Whitetail, like, every 15 to 20 kills. Hey, I buy, how's it going? Ah, the Fowler, they're, they're going okay. We're currently at 1,384 kills. No great one yet. Lots of fives are popping up, though. There we go. Do you think that I should HM Wildebeest in their drink zones or feed zones? Uh, drink zones, Chandler. Definitely the drink zones. It's going to be much easier to keep track of. And uh, Wildebeest have pretty good drink zones, honestly. Ah, what, what, what? what the? Okay. Uh, that's a thing. Getting slapped by dead deer. <laughs> hey, TTK, how's it going, dude? Yeah, I just, I just got slapped right there. <laughs> just out of nowhere. You'll love to see it. Gunner, thank you so much for the super chat. Been a while, can you give me a rundown of the map? Um, Australia. Eight new animals. Great one fallow deer. Uh, what else? What else we got? Best update ever. 
there, that's the brief rundown. Um, if you want to see more about Australia, Gunner, I would recommend the uh, first look video I did. I, it's like 58 minutes long, and it goes over every single new animal. Definitely recommend checking that out. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. How many diamonds am I up to? I have not been keeping track, but I've taxed every single one of them, so we can look in here and see. Um, one, two, three, four, five, or wait, that's a, that's a red deer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think it's ten of them. Yeah, ten. We got ten diamonds and I think about ten trolls probably. So we've had about 25 show up, but only 10 of them made diamond. These uh, fallow troll a lot. They troll quite a bit. Also, I believe my first like 500 kills, I only had one diamond. So I started out with not too many popping up. There's been a lot more now, though. But I think I've really only managed, like, a small portion of the map. Just enough to get a few more fives popping up. Also, guys, turns out reloading would be very helpful uh, for getting fallow down. You kind of need bullets in your gun. Oh my gosh, Gunner with the five gifted. Thank you so much. And also, Gunner, thank you for becoming a member, dude. Really appreciate it. Congrats to Ham, uh, a baseball carter. Ginger and Golden Game, y'all just got gifted memberships from Gunner over here. Be sure to thank him. Super, super generous. Holy dude. Love that magpie loading screen. I think it's the best loading screen for sure. It, it looks really good. Nothing there. Come on. Cooperate for me, fallow. Magpies are evil monsters. I'm not too familiar with how they are in real life. Are they like a nuisance or something? I'm assuming probably. Is the update tonight or tomorrow night? It's going to be tonight. 2 a.m., 3 a.m., sometime in that range, Pacific Standard Time. So, it's like... You know, less than 15 hours away. Which is pretty awesome. I can't believe we're so close. And then I can just start hammering the Tiabaroa grind. <sighs> Ow. That was, that was rude. Been watching you for a long time. Still don't know how to hurt, do herd management. I've got guides on it, Speedin'. If, uh, if the guides haven't helped you, I don't really know too much of how I could explain it any better. Because the guides go more in depth than I could right here. Sorry, ma'am. You're going down as well. Gunner, thank you for the super chat. By the way, I ain't been here for a month or so. What's happened? What have I missed? And when does the map come out? The map comes out in 15 hours or so, Gunner. Like, sub 15 hours at this point. It'll be out at 2 or 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time tonight. It's pretty big stuff, man. Super excited for it. Um, you haven't missed too, too much if it's been a month. Uh, we got a few new Great One Whitetail. Other than that, we haven't got too much crazy stuff. Um, I think we... Actually, wait a minute. Did we get that super rare Mela in the last month? I think we might have. We might have. If you're talking about what you've missed, like, the, for the game? Uh, there was... An update not too long ago. Like, what, a couple months ago that brought a brand new weapon pack? Though I'm sure if you've only been gone a month, you probably already knew about the Hunter Power Pack. 
Hey, hey, Billy, how's it going? How's it going, man? And I'm pretty sure that you already, that you had jumped in earlier, Tony, but in, in case I forgot to say hi, how's it going? Father's Day was yesterday if you missed that. Uh, yeah, th that too. Happy late Father's Day to all the fathers that were not in here yesterday, that are in here today, that I hadn't said it to, so. Smoked him. What's the kill count? 1,393. We're actually making pretty good progress today. Do dog dads count? Of course, bro, bro. Of course. <laughs> of course. We started at 1351 today, so we've killed 42 in 37 minutes, which is not bad. Um, we'll probably get in a better groove soon. My goal is to reach like 70 an hour. If I can reach 70 an hour, I'll be happy. Is the 22-250 good? Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, I wouldn't say it's the best gun for that range, but it isn't terrible. It definitely will do well enough on whatever you need to take down with it. Like, uh, if it's a class 2 to 4 animal, it'll do decent at the minimum. However, for stuff like Springbok and Fox and Musk Deer and stuff like that, it's going to destroy them. Like, it just drops them on the spot all the time. And if it doesn't drop them, they just run a little ways. You guys will see that, actually, in uh, tonight's video. Got a video going live at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time uh, that is going to show off all the new true racks for the Bison and the Springbok. And I shoot a couple Springbok with the 22250, and it does pretty good on them. I'm happy that it's usable. Christopher, thank you for becoming a member, dude. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. How much does the 22250 weigh? It only weighs two units. It's a very lightweight rifle, which is why I think it will have some play. Like, if it was as heavy as the 243, there's no way anybody would use it. But considering it's lighter, I could see it getting used a little bit. Even if it's just for, like, somebody that wants to switch it up a bit. That's probably the type of rifle it'll be for me. It's good enough to where sometimes I'll probably use it just to switch things up. Johan, thank you so much for becoming a member as well. Uh, enjoy all the stuff that comes with that. The emotes, the extra Discord channels, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Hey, CJO, how's it going, dude? Nice new logo. Looking good. Looking good, man. Oh, also, guys, um, if, if you guys hear me, uh, like talking with a slight lisp at the end of some of my sentences, it's because I bit my tongue. <laughs> I bit my tongue a little bit, so it is what it is. Can't avoid it. There we go. Another fallow down. Turns out when you stream like 23 hours in three days, there's way more chances of biting your tongue when you're talking. <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> Crazy, right? How many kills per hour is good for a moose grind? Um, At the beginning of a moose grind, like when you're still kind of trying to figure your zones out, I'd say like 30. 30 to 40 an hour is good. Once you get everything like set up and you've got your favorite zones with like tents all over them, um, and you've got stuff like claiming tents, then you could end up hitting like 60 moose an hour. But that's like the peak of moose grinding. The peak is like 60 kills, or at least it has been in my experience. But if you can get 30 or more, then you're doing okay. What is the highest scoring mountain goat that you've ever seen or got? I think 113. I haven't hunted them in ages because of how they... <laughs> Took away their drink zones and moved them into places that I just never want to hunt. But like, uh, yeah, I think it was like 113, if I'm not mistaken. How 
How good is Australia for the fallow grind? It's good. I'd say it's probably equivalent to like a Leighton or Revontuli whitetail grind. However, Tiawaro is just so much better that it's it's still not going to be the top. Even even with being as good as a Revontuli grind, it's still not up there with Tiawaro. Tiawaro is just so much better. My gosh, chat's moving so fast. Missing stuff. Uh, Laura, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing great. What map do I recommend for the whitetail grind? I'm personally a little bit biased towards Leighton Lakes. I like it a lot. It's a really good map. And it, it works out really well for whitetail if you don't want to have as large of an area to search. Because on Leighton, whitetail are only on half of the map. So there's less ground to search. But if you want less brush, then Revon Tuli is a good place to go. So it really depends on what you prefer. Either can be pretty good, though. Big old four there. You know what we have not seen on this grind? Um, an albino. I really want to get an albino to spawn, but I have not got the uh, the pleasure of seeing one in early access. Just had the Mela and then a bunch of piebalds. If you're still here, I buy. Did you get any albinos? I have yet to see one. Just one Mela and like five piebalds. You got an albino at like 1,900 kills. Didn't get a Mela though. Jeez, I wonder if they made them more rare. Because, yeah, I've seen a bunch of piebalds, but um, no albino and only one Mela. Did I pick up both of them? I think I did. What's my highest scoring fallow deer? Like, on this update, 262, I believe. Um, I, I can't remember if you said that you had got a 270 plus or if you were talking about one that was already in your lodge. Um... Have you seen any of the new ones make 270? Because I know you were talking about a 270 when I was in your stream. Uh, 266 from this update. Okay. I'm wondering if 270s can even be a thing anymore. Because, yeah, I haven't got anything above 262-ish. And yours is 266, so... That's got to be towards the upper end. I wonder if a 270 will even be possible. Kind of feels like it won't be. Think if they are, they'll be very rare. Yeah, probably. My theory is because uh, the great one seems to score 270 and above based on like the estimate we saw on yours. I wonder if they did it to avoid the moose situation where people were complaining that moose great ones scored lower. Maybe they worked it into where... Those uh, 270 plus are probably going to be the great ones. I feel like that's probably what they were going for. There's another 230s. I think at least. Nice little chocolate as well. Your hood, it's 274 minimum. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, it, it's... I think that's what they're going for. I think they want the great ones to actually score above the diamonds. So they probably reworked the diamonds to make that a possibility. Which I guess it kind of makes sense. How many zones did you have for moose on Revon Tuli? I didn't count my Revon Tuli ones because I didn't hunt all of them. I only hunted the north half of the map uh, with an occasional run through the middle. Just to, like, shoot any big uh, fours that showed up. But on Medved, I had, like, 110, 120, somewhere in that range. So I imagine Rev's probably very similar. Moose seem to be decently alike across all the maps. My gosh, three bucks here. Slow down for me, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. 
That actually worked out good. Hey, Rod, thank you for the membership, dude. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, man. I hope you're having a phenomenal day. I hope you're doing great, man. 200, 189, and this should be the smallest one. Hammering bears today? Nice, Caitlin. I swear, if you get another Great One Bear before I get my Great One Bear, I'm going to be sad. I mean, I know I'm going to be going for Fallow primarily soon, but... That'll be sad if you get another before I'm even able to get one. <laughs> and down they go. We're now at 1,407. She's definitely getting another one before your first. Yeah, probably. Her luck with bears is insane. Absolutely ridiculous. The luck. I guess I used up all my luck on Whitetail. I've definitely got really lucky with Whitetail. Not so much on bears and red deer, though. Bears and red deer have been, like, my two most difficult great ones to get. Like, most of my red deer grinds are between 3 and 7,000. Like, two 3,000 kill grinds, a 6,000, and a 6,700. And then I had two that were sub-1,000, but... Still didn't help counteract the super long ones. And then we got moose where... All my moose grinds have been 1,200 or less, except for one that just took forever for some reason. Did I main menu? I don't think I did, just in case I will. You'd love a super rare cinnamon? Me too. It'd be awesome. How much does the 22250 cost, and do you have to have the new map to get it? Yes, you do need to own the new map to get it. And it costs around 7000 So it's pretty cheap. Which is kind of to be expected, I think. Jeez, Iba. Yeah, that's very similar to mine. Uh, my shortest grind for Red Deer was 180 kills. And my longest was 6.7k. Red Deer are kind of brutal. Definitely the least predictable grind, I'd say. Like, bears seem pretty unpredictable, but that seems to be just for me and your first grind. Seems like a lot of people that grind bears get it sub-1500. But like for Red Deer, I hear so many people talking about really long kill grinds on them. And then moose seem to be like the easiest for everyone. Snack, thank you so much for the uh, super chat, dude. Guess I got to donate for you to see. Yeah, it's kind of hard to keep up with chat right now, man. Apologies. I was wondering, can a great one or any other red deer spawn in the zones that I don't manage anymore? Uh, usually only if it's a solo. Usually only the solos are going to respawn in random places that you don't want them. So I guess technically, yes. Uh, you could randomly get a great one spawning somewhere else. Okay, I don't see... I know there's probably more does here, but since I can't see them, I'm only going to shoot this. Don't want to risk it. In case some weirdness happened. Got my great one red deer in 584 kills. Got my great one red deer in 682. That's lucky. Those are some quick grinds right there. Really quick grinds. Got a 186 albino Sika deer yesterday. Thought it was a five before I spotted it. Dude, that's awesome, man. That is awesome. I want one like that. You see, all of my albino Sika deer are really small. I don't have a good one yet. I think both of mine were like small level threes. Gosh, man, I love the fallow deer so much now. Like, they just look so good. They look incredible. Especially with the uh, brand new, like, chocolate fur type. 
Huge fan of the chocolate. Definitely my favorite. Don't clip that. <laughs> there we go. 220. Uh, let's see what else we got over here. How do you do herd management? So herd management is just leaving the small animals on your map to make the game compensate by spawning in bigger animals. So what you would do for whitetail is you would load your map with level ones and then it would compensate for the amount of low levels by spawning in some bigger ones like uh, level threes, large level twos, stuff like that. I'm sorry, ma'am. There was only one buck there. You had to go. Am I using the 300 Win Mag? Yes, I am. To kill them quicker. Because nobody likes to track a wounded animal on a grind. And oddly enough, the Fallow give you long enough before spooking to where you can shoot two of them, sometimes even three with the 300. They're very different from Whitetail. Whitetail, I could never get that to work. With Whitetail, they dart off before you can shoot two in most cases when you're using a bolt action. But the Fallow have been pretty good. Like, they give you a couple seconds to take them down. What clock does Emerald Coast get out? Um, it'll be releasing sometime between 2 and 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Oh, Piebald! Yes, it's the new pattern! Yes! <laughs> this is a new pattern I wanted to show you guys in-game. Oh my gosh. That's the new piebald pattern. Oh, it's so beautiful. I like this one so much better than the other one. It looks so good. Oh, I showed you guys the two different patterns in the lodge, but I have not actually got one to spawn on stream for this particular, uh, this particular pattern. There's now at least two piebald patterns. I'm hoping there will be more, but right now there's at least two of them. And oh my gosh, it looks so good. Get a close-up with the scope. Beautiful. I uh, know I buy. This is my second one. Um, I think this is my seventh piebald overall. And this is only the second one I've got with the, uh, the lower white variation. And I got it before early access was able to be shown off, so I haven't posted the video with it. This is the first one I've got on stream. But it's the second one I've got with this pattern. Oh, it looks so good, though. Uh. Ma'am? What are you doing down there? <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. But, uh, to be honest, I just care about that piebald right now. 257 away. Get him down. Take her down as well. And there we go. What a beautiful piebald. I love those things. Only got two types so far. High white and low white pie. Have shot eight piebalds. Some big fours of them too. Nice, I buy. I've only had one big uh, four piebald. It scored like 240 or something. That's the only big one I've been able to get. Gosh, that is beautiful. Yeah, this has to be. This has to be my favorite of the two piebald variations. This just looks so good. It just looks so amazing. Beautiful. Love to see it, dude. What variation do you guys like more? This one or the other variation for Piebald? I think this one is the best. I like this one a lot. It just seems more unique. so beautiful. It kind of looks more natural, too. Like, uh, this looks really realistic, I think. And also kind of feels like maybe it was a, a dark fur variation or a chocolate fur variation that ended up getting, like, the, uh, the piebald on it, which is really cool in my eyes. I think that's awesome. Oh, no, we got a floater. Oh, well, it's a doe. I won't worry about her.
Can't believe I got a super rare fallow earlier today. You did, man. That's awesome. Congratulations. That is amazing. Rip solo dough, though. Yeah, she, she'll, uh, she'll survive. I mean, well, she won't because she's dead, but she'll, uh, she'll survive with us not picking her up. Are you supposed to shoot level three silvers for moose? Um, not all of them, just the ones that look the same as a two. If you're doing herd management for moose, I would only shoot the uh, level threes that are bigger than a level two. Like, you'll find some threes where they look identical to the twos, and those I would leave. Come on. There we go. Got it. Nice. 1,417 kills, man. I don't think we're going to reach 2k by the end of the day. But we might get close if I do a really long stream. But I also need to make sure I don't stream too long as I got to be prepared for tomorrow. Tomorrow is for sure a 12 hour stream because of the release of the patch. We want to try and get that uh, great one as quick as we can. Got to get our Tiaroa going strong. Uh, Brendan, thank you for the super chat, dude. Just got trolled by a level 9 albino jackal. Oh, no, dude. I'm sorry to hear that. That really sucks, man. That really sucks. Nothing worse than a super troll. That is the worst. Yeah, if you want to, I buy. I mean, I'm probably not going to do any, like, 24-hour streams, so if you're doing those, you'll probably end up winning. But, yeah, if you want to set up on Tiawaroa, for sure. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up on Tiaburo, uh for the first few grinds. And then I'm probably going to move over to Australia once I've already got a couple of Fallow Deer Great Ones. Because I really do like the scenery of Australia, but Tiaburo is just going to be... It's just going to be a better grind, I think. Not doing those either. The 24 wasn't supposed to happen, but chat was insanely generous, so I had to. Ah, uh, yeah, that happens. I get you. I get you, man. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. I've never done... I haven't done too much HM for Fallow Deer, aside from this early access, so... It's going to be a little bit of a learning experience for me, but Tiamato is easy enough to find all of them that I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem. But yeah, I'm definitely down to race. If you want to, we could do a couple of races. We could race to the first Great One uh, Fallow, and then race to get the variation that we want. Because I really badly want to get the uh, the Mocha Bladed Rack. And I'm going to be grinding until I get it, so... Bro, are you kidding me? That <laughs> I jumped out! <laughs> oh, well. I somehow jumped out of that. So, Drama, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. This is for the map pipe last zone, I promise. Thank you for the super chat, man. I really appreciate that. I hope you're doing great. Ah, oh, man, I'm so excited. This is going to be such an awesome update. Didn't I buy already get a fallow great one? Uh, yeah, he did. But we're talking about, like, on full release, racing to one. Silver or painted with literally any rack? <laughs> nice. What is your favorite rack out of them? Because for me, like, I think the bladed rack is so far above the others in my eyes. With the big rack being my second favorite, uh, the spoon paddle Mickey rack being my third favorite, and the Irish elk is kind of like... I mean, it's cool, but it's definitely not my favorite. It's at the bottom for me. Hey, Ormy, how's it going, man? Here comes the comment for me, as always. No 10 great ones yet? I know, right? We haven't got 10 yet. Haven't even got one yet. But you know what? We're trying. Hopefully, we'll make it happen today. Random red deer just asking to get shot? Yeah, the blade is really nice. It just looks so impressive. And it also angles inward like real-life fallow deer, so I, I think that's another reason I really like it. 
it feels more realistic. But then we got that big rack that looks pretty realistic as well. One ninety nine. Silver with the mustache rack. <laughs> it is very interesting name for it. The mustache rack. No, we haven't got the great one yet, Hayden. We're hoping we'll get it today, though. We're going to do a pretty long stream in hopes that I can make it happen. What time does the map release? Um, around 2 to 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, somewhere in that range. Um, we never know exactly, but it should be around there. All right, whichever one of you slows down, I'm sure. Oh. Thank you, sir. <laughs> was that three? Yeah, it was three, I think. Hey, jerk, how's it going? <laughs> how's it going? There we go. And two mo. Are a lot of the fallow zones on the river you don't enjoy hunting? Uh, there's a decent amount of them, yeah. It's mainly solos, and then I think I have like three or four herds here too. But yeah, there's there's a good bit of them, as you can see. It's just a, a stretch of zones, and a lot of them are fallow. It's unfortunate, though. But it, it is what it is. I just avoid the river. That's a very nice rock. It, it was. That fallow really just likes looking at that rock, apparently. Uh, are you talking about for the rack that you got? For the details? How did I make my logo? Um, I didn't actually make my logo. A uh, One of my friends had his girlfriend make it. Cause she does like uh she does a lot of like art art stuff, so she ended up making the logo for me. I think it's pretty nice. What's your favorite great one? Moose rack and fur color out of all of them. Uh favorite rack is the typical rack. And favorite fur type would be either two-tone or birch. I think birch is still my favorite, but after getting the two-tone, I just I really like that thing as well. And as far as the racks go, like typical rack is my number one, but I'd say the big rack is my second favorite. One thousand four hundred and twenty seven kills. Oh, what the? <laughs> OK, no wonder I didn't see him. I was going to say. Sorry, sir. I don't need you in this zone. So it will be like 1 p.m. here in Romania. Too bad I have to wait a few extra hours. Uh, you don't technically have to wait a few hours, uh, Skiller. I mean, technically, we're all going to be getting it at the exact same second. It's just that depending on where you are, the time will be different at that exact moment. But we're all technically getting it at the exact same time. So you won't have to wait any extra time. It's just like it'll... Like the time where you live may be later than it is here. But it will still be in approximately... Like 14 to 15 hours from now. No matter where you live. They should add a great one. A great one stick with a typical rack and a piebald fur. Wait. What? What did I just read? What did, what did I just read? Got me confused there, man. Will Tiabaroa stay the best for Red Deer and Fallow? Yes, it probably will. I haven't tried Red Deer on here, but I couldn't see it being better than Tiabaroa. Tiabaroa is a gold mine for Red Deer.
Do you go to Tiawa Royal because it's easy or it's fun? Uh, both. I've always really liked Tiawa Royal. And it's also one of the easiest maps to hunt a uh, fallow deer and red deer. So it's just been my go-to. I love the scenery of the map. And I love how open the drink zones are. And it just so happens they made them super condensed on there as well. So you don't have to search much of the map in order to get all your fallow deer. Great one, Duck would be insane. Dude, it would be such a chaotic great one because everybody would be... <laughs> Everybody would just have to sit in their blind and just shoot every duck that goes by <laughs> like It'd be a really slow grind. I Don't know if I could do that. I don't know if I could grind for a uh, a duck great one That would be a great one that I just have to get it by chance. I Couldn't see myself sitting in a blind or a couple blinds for uh, very long just Not my style man it would be pretty boring. I think if they made the uh, spawn rate a little bit higher, it wouldn't be a problem. Oh, I know you would, I but you like to torture yourself. Hey, Skylar, how's it going? Welcome to the channel. Hope you're doing great. No bucks here, eh? They're going to be stubborn. Great one, Red Fox. <laughs> Honestly, with Australia... I don't think that would be a terrible grind. This map is really, really good for Fox. I see Red Fox all over here. Uh, let's go check over here. Great one, Kangaroo? Yeah, that'd be crazy. Great one, Roosevelt Elk has to be next. For sure, Billy. I'd say they gotta go with an Elk. Either an Elk or... It's possible they'll do another Hirschfelden species because there's currently only two, um, there's currently only two species that have great ones on Hirschfelden and there's three on Leighton. So I think Hirsch is going to get another. And if I were to take a guess, it's going to be either uh, Fox or wild boar. A lot of people have been suggesting wild boar and it does seem likely as we only have one predator great one. And given a wild boar is not exactly a predator, they're still like an aggressive non-antlered animal, so maybe we'll get that. I feel like the next one will not have antlers, though. I feel like it won't, and if it does, it'll probably be like roe deer. That's how I kind of feel about it. Blacktail would need some love, true. Yeah. If they ever want to do a Blacktail Great One, they need to rework Blacktail a bit. And I mean, considering what they did with Fallow Deer, I could see them doing a rework for the Blacktail Deer as well, just to get them a Great One. Yeah, that'd be really cool, Billy. I mean, that'd be awesome. I'd love to see an update with two or even three Great Ones. And I think there's a couple species they could do that with. I mean, if they added in a caribou one, it could spawn off caribou or reindeer, I imagine. Could you imagine that? That'd be awesome. There was a nine red deer in the back. Uh, that rack can be on eights as well and sevens, or at least similar looking racks. It probably was not a nine. I've seen those herds quite a few times. <laughs> We need turkey drink time back and get a great one turkey. Yeah, that'd be cool. The elk would probably be both. And no, because Roosevelt and Rocky Elk are very different from each other. They couldn't just add a great one that goes for both of them. Like, uh, they use different true racks and everything. The reason I was saying that reindeer and caribou could be interchangeable is because they use the same true racks. There's no difference between the antlers on them. So it's one where they could do that.
What gun am I grinding with? 300 Magnum. Um, no, it's not actually uh, the most. Uh, Ross, I believe the release for... What's it called? The release for Way of the Hunter was my peak in viewership ever. I think we peaked to like 1,400 or 1,500 viewers during the Way of the Hunter day one of early access. That was a crazy time. Gosh, remember when Way of the Hunter was first coming out and everybody was so excited for it? Now there's barely anybody that plays it because we found out that after like 100 hours of playtime, you kind of run out of stuff to do. The new map helped a little bit, but I, I really, I can't wait till Way of the Hunter releases a couple more maps. Maybe, ooh, ah, uh, it's a four. Yeah, it's not going to make it, I don't think. But I, I can't wait till Way of the Hunter releases like a couple more maps, maybe some new rares, maybe like a great one equivalent or non-typicals or something like that. Then I think that game will start booming again. But they definitely need to add some things like that. 237, yeah, was not quite big enough. How many dimes off this grind? Um, I think we had 10, right? Was it 10? I just counted it earlier today. We counted it earlier in the stream, but I can't remember exactly what it was. Missed him. Oh, well. Could they add planes and Eurobison great one? Um, Eurobison is a base game species, so I could see that being added eventually. In fact, I wouldn't mind that. I would love to have a European bison great one. I think they could do well with it. And Eurobison are one of the more enjoyable species to hunt on Hirsch. Uh, they're actually not too bad. Yeah, let's get that fabled. All right, everybody, I think it's time. Get the fabled emotes in chat. Get me the fabled emotes, the 10 emotes. We need, we need those fabled 10s popping in the chat so we can have it pop up in game. We need to get the luck flowing. Remember uh, Nightbot tends to, or not Nightbot, but YouTube tends to hold uh, messages if they're more than 10 emotes long. So if you want to make sure it doesn't get held, do 10 or less emotes. Because YouTube gets a little finicky when there's a lot of them. I believe. <laughs> I believe, guys. We got this. We got to get this thing. We're at 1,439 kills. If we can get like another 400 or something today before the end of the day, maybe we'll be able to get this thing. Hoping for a sub 2,000 kill grind or else we're not getting it before the update. More and more, I'm regretting not starting the grind uh, before the 16th, but I wanted to get all those videos done so I could just grind for fallow during the days I'm actually able to uh, stream the update or stream the early access. How many kills? 1,439. Nice, Cryptic. That's awesome, dude. Congrats on your great one, Red Deer. First ever lion was albino. Forgot to tax it. Oh, man. I am sorry to hear that, dude. Ooh. Good four. Nice four again. Got some good fours there. Why is everyone spamming Fable? To get the luck going, man. We got to get the luck going. Whoa. Take that. Come on, flop over. Oh! She's possessed. <laughs> nice, Wayne. That's awesome, dude. Congrats, man. That deer was doing something. I don't know what it was doing. 
Got my legacy rack, Plains Bison today. Nice, Mr. Outdoors. That's awesome. Congrats, man. Just in time for the new update as well. Can we name the great one Fallow Juan? Uh, I think we're going to name it... We're going to name it the great one. I like that name a lot. The great one sounds like a good name for our first great one, Fallow. What variation and antlers do you want on your real account? Uh, the Fabled Mocha with the bladed rack. Essentially the combination that is in this thumbnail. That combination I really want. It looks so good. Fabled Mocha's got to be my favorite. But I also really like the painted and the hooded. Like the hooded and the painted are really solid. But there's just something about the mocha. Let's see. Ooh, ah, uh, it's a four. It's just a big four. Man. Got him down. No, we didn't get the great one yet, Logan. We're getting those uh, emotes in chat to kind of hype it up. Hopefully we can summon the great one to spawn in. That's what we're hoping for. That we can summon the great one. Okay, little does. I know there's more than just you two in that herd. Come on. Show me the other buck. There we go. There's the other one. There he is. Beautiful. Oh, gotcha, Logan. Why am I using the 300? Because it kills them quicker, and if you make a bad shot, you won't have to track for as far. Saves a lot of time on grinds. I used to do this all the time with Whitetail until they made them spook faster. Uh, but with Fallow, they don't spook as quick as Whitetail, so it's not a problem anymore. Holy James, thank you for the membership, dude. Let's get this great one already. You can do it. I believe, man. I believe. Even if we don't get it today, hopefully we'll get it tomorrow when the full release happens. Could you imagine if we get it day one of the full release? That's the dream. A day one great one. Let's see what we got over here. One little buck there. That's the one that we didn't shoot last time, I think, because I only saw three of the deer there. Now we got the extra does here. Oh, that's a red deer. Gonna pop her since she's just standing there, and I want to get two out of here to spread the pressure. Does it come out tonight in the morning? Yes, Merle, it does. Less than 15 hours away, and we get the full release of the map. It's going to be a, a pretty big thing. I'm so excited for it. Super excited. Talk trash to the lakes. You're right, that has gave us some before. We have got a great one after trashing a specific lake and then spawned right there. Maybe that's the way. Is that two? Yeah, we got two there. Uh, Kyle, thank you for the three months, man. Really appreciate it. Ten fabled, ten fabled. Oh, yeah. Ten fabled for sure. We got to get it. Why am I shooting does? Because uh, it doesn't affect your grind with the fallow deer. It's very different from whitetail. And sometimes you can get the bucks to swap places with the does. Making it so you get a bunch of bucks in one zone. Like I've had a few zones where I get like four or five bucks occasionally. I don't know if it's like the solo bucks that move around and like shooting a doe like opens a spot up in that zone or what, but I get a few bucks to swap places with does from time to time. And also just helps spread the hunting pressure because I'm hunting only five lakes. Ooh, okay, we got two nice fours here. We're on a bit of a dry streak in terms of fives, though. How many kills am I at? 1,448. 
What is better for Fallow, Tiabaroa, or Emerald Coast? Uh, Tiabaroa is definitely better, but Emerald Coast is not bad. You can totally get a good grind going here. Have I ever forgot to tax something? If so, what was it? Um, I know for a fact I forgot to tax a... Um, piebald Red Deer uh, during my first, like, few months of doing content. I know for a fact that's one I forgot. Mosquito made me... Wait. Made me took my life back, no worries. Gave it back to you already? Oh. <laughs> you're trying to you're trying to kill a mosquito and you unlike the stream. <laughs> it's okay, I probably deserved it. How many diamond fallow do I have? Like 10 of them so far, I think. I think we've killed like 10 of them in early access. At least 10 trolls as well. Sadly. Come on. Okay, we got a stubborn herd. They don't want to show up. Have you seen the Red Deer remodel? Yes, I have. I have indeed seen it. I think it's pretty good. Definitely a fan of the changes to the rares for sure. But in general, they do look pretty good. It's a solid rework. They did so many good fur reworks this update. I don't think there's a single one that I didn't like. Uh, the Feral Goat's the only rework where I didn't really notice that much of a difference, or at least it wasn't like that notable to me. It was just kind of like, eh, whatever. I guess they look a little bit more realistic, but I also kind of like the super bright furs they used to have, so it is what it is. I'd say that's the only rework where I wasn't really like super blown away, but the rest of them are really good, especially like uh, the Fallow Deer. And the Axis Deer. Those reworks were really needed. And now both of them look really good. You know what time the Bobcats drink now? No, I have not tried out any Bobcat hunting on Rancho. I'm going to save that for the full release, probably. Probably going to save that for full release. Got to be at least one more herd there. Great one access here. That could be cool. That could be cool. Shot an albino lion yesterday. Nice, Dylan. That's awesome, dude. Those things are not easy to get, man. Those things are pretty tough. There we go. Is there any chance you can just show the red deer, the new red deer rares? Haven't seen them. Uh, yeah, if we go into the lodge, I'll show them off, Sinaldo. Um, I'm not going to do it right right now, but if we go into the lodge to look at anything, then I will. Uh, we will probably go in there to sh put up all of the, uh, fallow deer trophies. So we will visit the lodge at some point today. How does an early access map work? Is it the same map you'll have tomorrow or is there a reset or do you just have a whole new map tomorrow to hunt? So this is how early access works, uh, Brandon. What happens is early access runs off a completely different build of the game, right? It's a, we have to download like a special early access thing. And then, uh, it uses a completely different save file. So what you do to keep your, uh, progress or not really, you can't keep your progress, but you can import your main save over to the early access so you have all of your stuff from the main save. However, you cannot like move it back once the update um, releases to everybody because it will not be compatible. So I don't get to keep anything. This is just like a copy of my main save essentially. But I will not be able to keep anything I get in early access. Everything that I get is purely just to show it off for you guys. I will get uh, a fresh undiscovered map tomorrow for Australia and anything that we have done during early access it'll essentially be like we never did it oh no worries baseball thank you for dropping in man still bummed I messed up a 301 moose ouch man yeah it's painful I'd be upset as well I would be upset too that is rough
Shot a melanistic gator. Nice, Soren. That's awesome. Uh, yes, Cryptic, you will. You will have to find all your red deer zones again, as red deer are getting the fur we work, which will require... Real, gosh, English is tough. It will require a population reset. So, yes, you will have to find them all again. Unfortunately. So, it's really good... Um, really good to check your map over before the update. Make sure you're not missing any trophy red deer on your map. Yeah, no problem, Brandon. Always happy to respond. And yeah, hopefully we get some good trophies, man. I'm excited because most of the rares on this map look so good. Oh my gosh, Gunslinger. Gunslinger coming in with the Master Crow membership. Oh my gosh, that is our highest tier of membership. Bro, thank you so much. That is incredible. I really appreciate that, dude. That is super generous of you. Holy. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. My gosh. The generosity is real. That is insane, bro. That is insane. <laughs> Holy. Had to, up had to upgrade for that great one lock. Well, thank you so much, man. That is insane. You're an absolute legend. To 18. Maybe that'll get us the great one now. Maybe we will get that great one luck flowing. I have faith. I believe we can do it. We are like 43 kills away from 1,500. So we're making good progress. Hopefully you're getting us one step closer to that great one. You know, I've heard the great ones, they do really like it when people are kind and generous. So hopefully the great one will pop out. Hopefully he'll uh, be lured out by the generosity. One buck. Okay, we've only been getting one buck here recently. Pop a couple does. Maybe we can get some bucks to swap with them. Great one at 1776? Maybe. Always a possibility. That's uh that's definitely up there in kills, so. The great one I smell pennies? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe that's it. No, I think honestly what we need to do, we just need to offer the uh the great one whitetail like a nice fresh uh a nice fresh uh, salt lick. Or potentially some nice, uh, some nice corn. And, you know, maybe if we really want to spoil the great one, we'll, like, uh, give him, like, an entire, entire, like, pasture of everything a great one could possibly want. Honestly, wouldn't it be cool if we could eventually get, like, feeders and stuff in the game? It's unfortunate we don't already have stuff like feeders. Like, even if it's just, like, hog feeders. That'd be really awesome. What was my average for a great one whitetail? Um, I haven't averaged it out before. Let me look. How many kills do I have? So I have 30... Just... I'm 20 kills away from 37,000 whitetails. So I'm just going to say 37,000... Divided by 27. I average about 1,370 kills per Great One Whitetail. So that's, yeah, that's, that's about how it should be. Usually people get Whitetail Great Ones between 1,000 and 2,000 on average. So I have a very, a very average kill count average for white-tail deer. Feeders would be cool, but I feel like the animals have to roam more for them to be really good. Yeah, true. You see, my thought on feeders, right, is that maybe whenever you place down a feeder, uh, like, it moves animals from one of your feed zones or something. 
Like you're essentially creating a brand new one. Hey Cooper, how's it going? It's that last day grind, you know? We gotta grind for that uh, great one. Everyone wants to see if we can get it. I'm hoping we can. Jordan, thank you for the one month. Really appreciate it. Watched the whole live stream yesterday. Thank you, I appreciate that. Today is going to be a much longer one, so I hope you're ready for a super long stream. Because we are, uh, we're in it for the long haul today. Try and make that push. Oh, hey. There's a nice buck. Longer than 13 hours? No, I don't think we'll go longer than 13 hours today. It'll be a long stream, but not not like 13 hours long. There we go. Ah, uh, yes, Knowles. It is a monthly thing, but you know, you don't it's not like required to renew it every month. You can cancel it after you uh after you've gone through a month. Your camera isn't focusing. I've uh, I just There's so much wrong with that sentence. I have a level 60 great one account on PS5. When I get my PC, I won't have anything. It will suck. Yeah, it, you know, it's one of those things that's sadly just part of Call of the Wild if you switch platforms. It sucks, but not too much you can do about it, man. And you know, at least on the bright side, like, you'll still have your console, so you'll still be able to go back and take a look at them whenever you want to. Did you always shoot does when there is no second male? No, this is new with uh, Fallow Deer for me, Florian. Because uh, with Whitetail, shooting does can really mess your herds up sometimes. But it hasn't been a problem with Fallow, and I'm hunting so few zones that uh, I'm trying to kill a couple does every once in a while to spread the pressure. And I also like trying to get some of the bucks and does to swap. Because occasionally you can swap bucks and does, and then that gives you like a bunch of bucks in one zone, which can make it easier to get a bunch of kills quickly. He knows how it's done? Wait. Know how what's done? I'm confused. I must have missed something. I must have missed something there. Assuming there was a message before that. Oh, he's drinking. There we go. Brandon, thank you so much for the gifted membership, dude. Really appreciate it, man. And congrats to Fleck, you just got gifted that membership. Holy. Are there any more new multi-mounts with the update? Yes, there's two of them. We've got a brand new kangaroo multi-mount. We also have one that's a crocodile and a magpie. Both look pretty good. Beautiful. Hello there. Okay, we got two bucks here now. Nice. Love to see it. Did you miss anything? Um, you didn't miss a ton, Finn. We got a piebald. Uh, that's been about it, though. A piebald and a troll. Just spotted a great one. Moose, typical rack, birch for, ah, uh, my dream combo. My dream combo, man. Yeah, we're getting close to 40. It's looking like great one 39 and 40 is going to be fallow deer. 
Honestly, if we just if we had just completely skipped out on early access, I think we totally could have got to 40 great ones with Whitetail. Because the Whitetail have just been really good to us recently. After that really bad streak we had for a few great ones, the Whitetail finally started giving us some good luck. So I, I bet we could have got to 40. What time does the map drop tomorrow? Uh, it's in the pinned message above. You're lucky. You're lucky, ma'am. You got away this time. But you won't next time. Yeah, we haven't seen if the kangaroos have Mela. Um, I got an albino. Lady got a couple leucistics. Um, I'm not sure who else got any. Those are the only ones that I've seen. And then, like, crocodiles seem to have everything. I've seen Mela, Leucistic, Piebald, Albino. Like, the crocs have so many good um, different variations. Thank you, Chad. I appreciate that, dude. Why are black bears so hard to get a great one? They're just really tough. Nobody really knows why, but like, it seems like a lot of the predator species are really like super inconsistent and weird. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense why they're so like late to their zones, why their respawns are so inconsistent, why there's so many, uh, so many weird zones where they're just solo, so they never always go back to the, or they don't always go back to the same place twice. Lots of weirdness with them. And it makes it really tough to grind. The thing is, like, I don't think the spawn rate is any lower for Black Bear than it is for, like, other species. It's just... They're a harder species to grind, so it's harder to get the great one. Killed a piebald red deer today. Nice, Carter. That's awesome. Who got the albino croc? I don't remember, to be honest. I've seen so many different screenshots from creators that I can't remember who got what. I think Ibai got the Mela. And I know that Kinsko got a piebald. And I believe CJO got a leucistic. I don't know who else has got what for them. Those are the ones I remember. I don't remember who got a bino, but I'm pretty sure I heard of one getting found. You've not seen an albino yet? You've hunted a lot of them. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I haven't seen somebody get one. It would be weird if they didn't have an albino, though, since they've got leucistic. And since the gators have albino. It, it would feel weird if they didn't have them. That four looked really good. Yeah, it's not too bad. Definitely not diamond, though. 199. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. They gotta have one. There's no way they don't. There's no way that they don't have an albino. No bucks there. Why don't I play with some of my viewers? Because if I play with a couple of viewers, then there's going to be like a hundred other viewers that are jealous that I didn't play with them instead. The only time that I can really play with viewers is if I'm just multiplayer hopping and you guys join the server that I'm in. Otherwise, it, there's just too much jealousy that goes on and it's impossible to play with everybody, so it's sadly something I just can't really do unless unless I did something like Lady, but I don't want to cop I don't want to copy uh, what Lady does with her guided hunts. Just not really possible, unfortunately. Like, the bigger your channel gets, the harder it is to play with viewers. Like, back when I 
But back when I started my channel, the first few months, I was able to play with viewers all the time because I only had, like, maybe 10 people watching my streams, sometimes less. So it was easier to play with people, but nowadays it's impossible to do it without other people getting upset that I didn't play with them. There was one buck, then two, then zero. Yeah, we didn't get our respawns back there. Hey, Tristan, how's it going? Thank you, dude. Seek a mating call is creepy? Uh, it's definitely very loud and in your face, that's for sure. It, it sounds kind of like a cry for help. The Seek a deer are just crying for help all the time. One thousand four hundred and seventy-five. Oh yeah, Nate, it's been a wild day. Everybody wants to see if we can get that great one. I mean, I want to see if we can get that great one too. Like, we're, it's coming down to the wire, man. We gotta get it today, or else we're gonna have to wait till full release. Is a pink wild hog rare? Yes, that is rare. I accidentally reset my whitetail at 954 kills. Wait, what do you mean by reset? How do you accidentally reset your whitetail at 954 kills? Uh, if you're worried about your great one grind, that's not going to affect your chances of getting a great one. Great ones are random, so doesn't matter what happens. Every time you're killing whitetail, you got a chance at a great one respawning from one of your kills. Oh, you accidentally reset the game. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that's rough. I've heard of a few different scenarios where people accidentally click new game. But yeah, just I wouldn't worry about it too much. Your grind's not going to necessarily take any longer because of it. At the end of the day, it's all up to RNG. I think the toughest part's just going to be setting up again. Finding all your zones, uh, finding the best herds to grind... And, uh, getting your tents and stuff set up. That's probably going to be the toughest part of that. Just getting everything set up again. They need to add a lock button to new game. Yeah, just an option to disable it if you don't want to. And then maybe you can go into, like, the settings menu and re-enable it if you'd like. Actually... Honestly, that's what they should do. They should put the new game thing in the settings. That way it's not as easy to accidentally hit. I think that would be a really good fix right there. Do any other people have the great one fallow? Yes, uh, Ibai ended up finding his a few days ago. Oh, that's a big one. Not going to make it though. And Ibai has yet to shoot it, so that means probably sometime today he'll be taking it down. So be sure to uh, stay tuned and on the lookout for that. Because it's going to be a pretty big thing. Taking down that beautiful beast. Can't wait to see it up close. And just to see like what the score is going to be and stuff. I really want to see what the score range is going to be for these things. Because it seems like they get pretty big in score. Is there Melafallow? Yes, there is Melafallow. We actually got one yesterday. Will my fallow stay the same on New Zealand or will they change? They will change, Zebon. They're going to get a full reset. What rack does I have? He ended up getting the, like, um... Spoon paddle spatula rack. He's calling it the Mickey rack, so which I, I kind of get it. It does kind of look like a uh, Mickey Mouse ears. So I've just been calling it the uh, the spoon paddle Mickey rack because those are like the three common names I've heard from it. Good old spoon paddle Mickey rack. Mams. Where are the males? How many fallow zones are there on Australia? Um, 
I haven't counted them, if I'm being honest. I have not counted my zones in Australia, because it's not going to be my uh, main grind. I would imagine it's probably around the same as Tiawaroa. Maybe a little bit more, actually, now that I think of it. Because Tiawaroa is pretty condensed. The so the thing is, like, the solos continue to delete and create zones because they're solos. So it's really hard to keep track of just, like, exactly how many zones that I've got, even if I was counting them. Because those solos, man. The solos really, like, throw things off. It's going to be hard to get an exact count with all of them. What is the best map in my opinion? This one right here. Emerald Coast, in my opinion, is the best map they've ever released. It's got everything that we could ever want in an Australia map. And it's got like different types of animals for everybody. There's two different bird species. There's aggressive animals like the crocodiles. And then there's a big class nine animal like the Bantang. There's a bunch of deer for the people that like antler game. And there's a couple great ones even. There's the red deer and the fallow deer great one on here. So it's got everything you could want. And on top of that, the landscape is beautiful and works really well. It flows nice and meshes good. It's easily the best map they've done. I think the only one that comes close is Revontuli. And that's just because Revontuli is such a different experience. It is such a unique experience to play that map. One thousand four hundred and eighty, twenty kills away from fifteen hundred. Oh man. What type of PC do I have? Uh it's a custom built one, so one of the mod Ooh. That's big. That could be diamond. Uh, one of the moderators could bring the specs up in chat if you'd like to see. That could be dime right there. 245 minimum. We got it. Love to see that. You're thinking 248, Johnny? Ah, don't jinx me. Don't jinx. Don't jinx me, man. This could be a good one. Look at you, buddy. That thing's wide. 245 minimum. Um. Now, if I if I'm going to be honest with myself, I'm going to say 246, but you know, for the sake of hopefully instilling good luck in this, I'm going to say 250.71. Hey, 252. Let's go. It's a wonky dude. That's a wonky diamond. And it's a diamond white variation as well. We love to see it. Ah, oh, they look so beautiful. The diamond white variation and the diamond chocolate are just some of my favorites. They're so good. I knew they could. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, I had so many that were so close. Now we know level four diamonds are a thing with the fallow deer. That's so cool. That never used to be a thing, right? Like, that was never a thing before, if I'm not mistaken. They can make it now, though. Holy. That's so cool. This guy's wonky too. Hold on. Let's uh let's go to the true score. Yeah, 4638 for 4603. 586, 573, 502, 502. Uh 1036, 1032, 2782, and 2685. Yeah, it's definitely uneven. It's a wonky dude. That's cool though. There was such a score gap before, but now it's fixed. Yes, it's very much fixed. They did a good job fixing it. There used to be a terrible gap in score. It used to be really bad. Thank you, Johan. Gember, thank you so much for the super chat. I have a diamond wildebeest that has respawned as a diamond four times already. Oh my gosh, dude. That's crazy. 
That is a crazy little chain of diamond respawns. Thank you for the super chat once again. That's sick. When is the new map coming out central time? Um, like 4 to 5 in the morning. Like between 4 and 5 a.m. I believe. Sheesh. What is the best way to make money? Red deer in my opinion. Red deer are just such good cash. Um, especially on Tiabaro, it's so easy to find a bunch of them. Red deer give up an absurd amount of money, even as a female. So it, it's just a great way to get money. Nice, Billy, you got the internet back. Beautiful, dude. Uh, do you need to have all your zones for a great one? No, Tanner, you don't. Um, I've got multiple of my great ones with only having like half my zones. It's not required. It just helps your grind go a little bit more smoothly because you can check the other zones and you know where those zones are. Um, it just makes it easier to keep track of if something spawns in one of those zones, right? Like, uh, if you don't have all your zones, the great one could have showed up in one of them if you're hunting a species like moose where you have solos. So it's just a lot more... It's just better to have all your zones, but it's not required. Um, I got my... I got my fourth and fifth great one moose without having all my zones discovered. I only had like half of them. How many kills? 1,484. Nice, Saints. That's awesome. Congrats on your Diamond Fallow, dude. Just in time for the uh, changes with Fallow as well. It's kind of like a better chance. I wouldn't say... I wouldn't say better chance. It's not going to make you have a higher chance of getting a great one when you have all your zones. It just makes it so that if it spawns, you'll know, like... I don't know, because... It's hard to explain. Just think of it this way. If you don't have all your zones... Because the thing is, your zones are there no matter whether you've discovered them or not. So they're always on the map, even if you've never discovered them. They just aren't visible on the... Uh, on the actual game map until you've found them. Then it'll show up with an icon, obviously. And so, if you don't have all your zones... A great one could spawn in one of those undiscovered zones. Or it could even, like, create a new zone, right? And so, if it happens to do that, you could be grinding for hundreds of kills and not even know that your great one has spawned because you haven't discovered all the zones and he just happened to end up spawning in a different zone. That's not really a problem with, like, Whitetail, per se, but with something like Fallow and Moose, I could see it being a big problem. Just because we have solos that will sometimes join up with herds. Like, I've got a couple solo fallow. They kind of just bounce between all my lakes. And you never quite know where they're going to go. But if you've discovered all your zones, you kind of know the different places that they can be and where you need to look. So no, it's not going to make it easier for you to get a great one, but... It'll make it so there's less chances of you, like, missing a great one, I should say. But it's not going to change your, like, chances of it spawning. Just makes it easier to make sure you're not missing it if it does spawn. I probably explained that terribly, but... Hopefully I explained it in, like, an understandable way. How's my day been? It's been good. It's been good so far. We uh, got a level 4 diamond fallow, which... Now we know that those exist, so that's pretty sick. And then I got a troll as well. And a little piebald. It's been a good day. Ready for the grind? Nice, Shib. That's awesome. I'm super ready for it too. It's a fun grind so far. And I can only imagine the Tiabaro is going to be even more fun. Yeah, no problem, Cassie. I deleted a melanistic plains bison. Oh, no, dude. Yikes. 
That is crazy. <laughs> That's not what you want to see. You definitely don't want to be deleting a melanistic uh, bison. That's or fallow deer. That's rough. Oh gosh, I just read two different. What's happening? I read two different comments because there was two that were saying they deleted a melanistic. One was plains bison. One was fallow. Oof. That's that's rough. You hate to see it. Hello, males. Uh, Noxus, thank you for the super chat, dude. Good morning, Crow. Got myself a black bear glacier in multi. Oh my gosh, bro. That is like an insane achievement. A multiplayer great one black bear? You kidding me, man? That's insane. That is insane. That got confusing? It did, Johnny. I was confused too. Definitely a little confusion there. I hit a great one in the shoulder and it didn't die. Uh, you were probably too far forward then. Maybe using an ammo that doesn't penetrate well. You got to be careful. You got to use like the proper class range rifle. Use polymer tip bullets and aim for the crease in the shoulder. Not like the actual shoulder, but right behind it. Welcome back, Caleb. Uh, yeah, we got a diamond level four, and we got a piebald and a troll as well. Ow. Getting brutally murdered over here. We need a croc and goose multi-mount. Uh, that actually is a thing. Rick, they added one of those. It's a crocodile and one of the magpie geese in a multi-mount. It's pretty sick. Pretty good. Okay, so something that we are definitely going to have to uh, keep in mind now is that since they can make diamond at level four, we need to be extra careful about like uh, not blasting a level four with the 300 that could make diamond. Because, like, I totally thought that was the 230s rack at first. Hey, CJO, how's it going? Welcome back. Yeah, we got a diamond level 4 fallow. They're a thing now, man. Diamond level 4 fallow are a thing. It's pretty wild. What the? <laughs> so small. You're so small. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> He's tiny. That's adorable. Little baby chocolate fallow. That's like uh, when you buy the fun size chocolate candy bar instead. Hey, AP Gaming. You missed a diamond level four fallow, a troll fallow, and a small piebald fallow. Yeah, we did get a piebald. We did. Beautiful. 81. What a monster. <laughs> what a monster. Why don't I use the 308 then? Because I can tell when one's got a chance at diamond. For the most part. Like none of these have a chance that we've been shooting. That one that ended up making it was 245 minimum estimate. Um, and it had... Very similar looking rack to like the high 230s. So what I'm going to do is if it's got a rack like that. Gosh, dude, this water. Bruh. <laughs> Come on. 
Becky, thank you so much for the super chat. Hope you're doing well getting up at 6 a.m. to get it. Holy. The early morning grind. <laughs> you're not getting away, man. You're not getting away. You may try to shield yourself with that armored water, but you're not getting away from me. How many hours till the update? Um, let's see. Like 14, roughly. Roughly 14 hours. Noxus, thank you for the super chat again. New fallow looks like skin from an eel. Delicious. It does? What eel? Should you shoot big solo moose? Um, if you're doing herd management, yes. Ooh. Oh, that's a dime. That's a dime! Is that a 5-2? Ah, it's a big four. Thank you for the super chat once again, though, dude. Holy, that's that's the that's the diamond rack right there. That one should make it. Unless we get a really low scoring one. There we go. Two giants down. The same here, Rick. I think it's going to be my favorite as well. They're a lot of fun. Oh. There's the five. That's a wide one. I think he's going to make it. 254 diamond. That is two diamonds in the last, like, 20 kills. Not bad. They look so good. And... What do you guys think? Is that going to be a 230s rack? Or is this going to be like two, 249, 248? I mean, it can't make it, but... Yeah, 239. Okay. I was going to say, it can't make it. Unless we literally hit the decimal of 249.99. But, yeah, didn't make it. Twenty-four thirty-four. Ah, yes, CJO. I I thought it was gonna score twenty-four thirty-four as well. Really thought it was gonna break that twenty-four hundred mark. <laughs> I know that was a typo, but <laughs> hilarious. Very optimistic. Yeah, super optimistic. Yes, that's that's gonna be the uh, the twenty-four thirty-four. Things are way too thick. It happens, man. It happens. It is what it is. Is Fallow my favorite great one? I think it will be, yes. I think it will be. Uh, Becky, thank you for the super chat once again. Much appreciated. I just like donating to you, so... Well, thank you. I really appreciate that. That is very generous of you. Thank you so much. Two more fallow down. One more kill and we'll be at 1,500, guys. Am I doing HM? I'm doing like light HM. It's like a very minimal. I've pretty much only tried to manage down the river and it's not even like full management. It's just I shot all the fours and like any big, big threes that I found. But uh, yeah, we're not doing full herd management. It's, it's very light herd management. Hey, Ben, how's it going? Good to see you, dude. Oh, piebald. Is it a doe? It's one of the does. <laughs> the doe that I shot last time came back as a piebald. <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> that would be the luck. The doe came back as a piebald. <laughs> oh, you get the 300 treatment. And you were behind a tree. That's hilarious. Literally, I've shot so few does 
It's been like maybe a hundred does for fifteen hundred bucks, right? And of course we get a doe to spawn as a pie ball. <laughs> Beautiful. Solo doe though pie though. Oh my gosh, that's a that's a sentence. Is that different than the bucks? I don't know. It might be different than the bucks, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's different than the bucks. That that's really that's good to know. They look different than the bucks. Okay. So this is different than both the patterns that the bucks have. So it looks like females get different patterns than males. That's good to know. Cuz I don't think the uh Yeah, this is not like either of those ones with the males. Honestly, that makes sense. They should have different patterns. That's cool. This might actually make it like a... Uh, like if you're somebody that grinds a lot, right? Usually most people that have been playing the game for a long time don't really keep rare females because there's no multi-mounts for them. But this is actually going to make it so it'll be worth keeping at least one of them even if you don't care to have any like rare females. This will at least make it worth it because it's different than the male. Gosh, this uh, this rework to Fallow just keeps getting better. It just keeps getting better, man. They've done such a good job on reworking them. We're going to have like infinite trophies to grind for when the uh, when the update drops. Do the Mellow Fallows look different now? Uh, yes, they do. Bed for me. Best of luck, Crow, for tomorrow if I don't speak to you. See you, chat. People who bite their tongue should not be allowed to eat alone. <laughs> wow, CJO. Okay. Okay. I see how it is. <laughs> Thank you for dropping in, dude. <laughs> oh, man. You know, now I got even more reasons to shoot a few of the females because I want to see if the albino and the mellow look different than the males. Um, if you guys did not know, Lady Legend discovered that there is multiple patterns for leucistic kangaroos. Like, you can get multiple types of leucistics that actually look quite different from each other. So, do you guys think that the albinos and mellows for, like, red deer and fallow deer and, like, hog deer and all the new uh, species... Do you think they can have different patterns as well for leucistic, albino, mela, etc.? I think it's very possible. Yeah, Cooper, it's crazy. There's actually differences between some of the leucistics for the kangaroos. And so I got a sneaking suspicion maybe they've done that for some of the other species. Ooh, actually... Does anybody know if Lady Legend's leucistics were both males or both female, or if it was one of each? Because maybe it's the same scenario as uh, what we found here with the um, the piebald fallow. Maybe males and females for kangaroo just look different for leucistic. I feel like that would make sense, right? They were both female? Okay, they, never mind then. That does just confirm that they've got multiple patterns no matter no matter what you get. Crazy. Is it possible to get a Mela or a Piebald Lion? No, sadly, it's not possible. I don't believe it's possible in real life either. Trying to get a Legacy Rack Springbok before the update and last night was trolled by a level 5 that scored 110.40. Very sad. Yeah, that's unfortunate, Cody. I'm sorry to hear that. At least on the bright side. That should be the same rack as the small diamond, so it'll look about the same as the small diamond in the lodge. You at least have the rack, it just doesn't have the score you wanted, right? That's uh, that's like the, the way that you could look at it to make it not hurt as bad. What's up with this herd? Did they disappear? Okay, my fallow are doing weird stuff and I don't like it. What's going on, little fallow? Hey, they're just not here. Um, let's go to the other lakes then. That's weird. We're missing that herd. Both of them, actually. 
Screwed up a five medium Rocky Elk yesterday. Ah, gosh, I'm sorry to hear that, Gunner. That sucks, dude. Better luck next time, man. Don't worry, though. We all screw trophies up. I've definitely messed up my fair share of trophies, including a great one recently. So it happens, man. It happens to us all. Oh, we don't want to go back that far. Noxus, thank you for another super chat, dude. What Predator Great One would you like to see added? Um, if it had to be a Predator Great One, I would say probably Grey Wolf. I like the Grey Wolves. Um, Lions would also be good. That would be good. It's got to be either Lion or Grey Wolf. Those are the ones I'd want to see. For the, uh, for the, uh, for like a predator great one. Yeah, that melanistic, the picture of a melanistic lion is Photoshop. That's not a real picture. For anyone that knows, or for anybody that was asking, the picture that you find on Google of a mellow lion, it's fake. It was confirmed fake years ago. They don't actually exist in real life, or at least nobody's ever had one. Uh, nobody's ever found one. And it might just not be possible for them. Oh, it was there. Oh, hey. Ew, who botches great ones? I'm defo out this time. <laughs> uh, poor CJO. It's okay, at least you can say you have a bear. But thank you for dropping in CJO. <laughs> is egg white rare for gray wolves? Yes, it is nowadays. It didn't used to be, but now it actually is rare. It is indeed a rare. Are there albino geese? I'm assuming that maybe there will be for the magpies. I don't think there is for any of the current goose species, but I think magpies might be able to have one. Obviously can't confirm because I think only one rare has been found and it was a Mela. What's the most people that's been in a stream before? Uh, like 1,400 or 1,500 for Way of the Hunter release day, or I guess early access day one. That's the most we've ever had. Holy, three bucks here. Love to see it. Wish we had Sandhill Crane. That's been a popular request. I don't really know too much about them, but I see so many people saying they would love to see those. There we go. Just looked the Mellow Lion up, and there are like 200 photos. Yeah, there is indeed. Gotta love it. Not three anymore. True. We popped all three of them. There's no longer three fallow there. No, Whitetail did not get reset, Nicholas. Your Whitetail will be fine, thankfully. One buck down there. There should be one more herd. To spawn my first great one moose after 3,000 kills. Holy, dude, 3,000 kills. That's rough. I'm glad you got it to show up, though. Glad you finally got it. That's awesome. Let's just pop her. With all these new great ones, I can't even start to imagine what a great one elk or blacktail would look like with four rack variations and five to six fur types. Dude, it'd be insane. It would be ridiculous. That really would be like the pinnacle of stunning. 
getting like a uh, a great one elk with some crazy fur types and stuff. You know what else they could do? They could do like a fabled blonde fur type for a blacktail great one. Because uh, there is blonde blacktail deer in real life. I've seen a blonde doe before. And they look like even more blonde than the blonde mule deer in Call of the Wild. Could you imagine like a fabled blonde great one blacktail deer with a giant non-typical rack? Oh my gosh, that'd be so good. Oh, that'd be so awesome looking. I'd love to see that. Hey, you guys decided to show up. Thank you. Where were you last run? That was so weird. Last run, there was just nothing here. There we go. All three down. You know, I'm wondering if we should shoot one of the uh, level twos just so we get more kills. Because, like, we got the, um, we got a couple twos over here. I'm wondering if I should just shoot them so that I can get more kills per run. That way we can hopefully make this great one happen. The more we kill, the more chances we get a great one. Really thinking about just popping those twos. There we go. We'll probably get them next run if I decide to. What is drink time for Red Deer? Isn't it like uh, 6 to 10, I think? I think it's like 6 to 10. Kill count? 1,509. There we go. One little buck. Did I buy get one? Yes, I buy does have a great one on his map. I think he got it to spawn like two days ago. Or maybe it was yesterday. I think it was the second day of early access, so it would have been the 17th. So yeah, two days ago. Uh, Juan, thank you so much for the super chat. Love the content. Can't wait for Emerald Coast. Thank you so much, dude. I'm excited for Emerald Coast as well. It's gonna be a crazy release, dude. It's gonna be a crazy release. Such a hyped up map and man, it was worth the hype. It is such a good experience. What is my loadout? Right now, I just got the 300, the 22, and the 308. And then I've got tents on me as well. Binoculars. And the Argus scope. Yes, Emerald Coast is tomorrow. In fact, it's uh, like 14 hours away. 14 hours till it releases worldwide. Nice, Tanner. That's awesome, man. Congrats, dude. What am I going to use to kill the Great One? Uh, probably the brand new 22250. Since it's the brand new rifle and we haven't got a chance to, uh, use it on anything like a great one. Should be a fun thing to use on it. Can level four fallow make diamond? Yes, they can. We just got one like 30 minutes ago. It's crazy. They can finally make it. This is why I carry tents on me. For situations like that. Where I accidentally drop a deer on top of it. Is there a story with the new map? Yes, there is. I have missions disabled because... Spoiler reasons. Don't want to spoil it for people that want to play it themselves. But yes, there is a story mission. Um, I believe the developers in an interview... I watched uh, the interview they posted today. And they said there's eight main missions and 12 side missions. And they made sure that most of the side missions were very hunting focused. So it sounds like it's going to be a really good set of missions. That should uh, actually be pretty interesting to do. How do you herd manage fallow? Just leave the ones and the twos. Kill threes and above. Leave ones and twos. Um, if you'd like to, you can 
leave some of the really small level threes because they're practically the same as a two. But for the most part, just leave twos and below. Hey, Eliop, how's it going? You can't check how many kills you have on a grind, Carson. You have to keep track of it yourself. I use a click counter app to keep track of all my kills. So yeah, you gotta you gotta manually keep track of it. There's nothing in the game that keeps track of an individual grind. The only thing the game does is keep track of your total kills across like every animal. How many diamonds have I got? We've got like 11 or 12 of them so far. Somewhere in that range across like what is it? 1,512 kills? And then I've had like 10 trolls. Am I going to use herd management for fallow? Yes, I will. Uh, whenever it full releases and we switch over to Tiabaroa, I'm going to manage the crap out of that map. Because I want to get some of the new like uh, piebald patterns as super rares. And I want to try and manage down every single solo just so I don't have to worry about the solos anymore because they are annoying. That's the most annoying part about fallow grinding is the solo bucks. They are a nuisance, to say the least. Because you never know where they're going to go. They just kind of bounce wherever they want to. And I forgot to kill these. I was going to kill them. We'll get one of them down. We'll get one down. Would I like an Africa 2.0? For sure, dude. I mean, that's like my most wanted map aside from like a Texas game ranch. Now that we've got Australia, it's pretty much just Texas Game Ranch, Africa 2.0, and British Columbia that I'd really like to see. Um, an Asia map would be cool as well. That's like my top four requests. How are the respawns? Um, Semi-unpredictable, but not bad. Uh, they're not as bad as Moose, but they're not as good as Whitetail. It's the solo males that give you like some weird unpredictability, but so far Emerald Coast has had very consistent respawns in the fact that I don't ever feel like I'm missing males really. I may like uh, have some delayed respawns that take a run or two to pop up, but they always have come back, which is what we love to see. How do you herd manage for a great one, Whitetail? Just leave the level ones, that's it. And also not spamming my chat would help with the herd management as well. I heard that gets you your great one in five kills if you don't spam my chat. And he's still doing it. There. <laughs> One and a two. This zone has had a consistent two males every time. Like the last 200 kills or so. No, not you, Potato. It was somebody else. Somebody else put the same message like 10 times before I could even like look down at the chat and read it. <laughs> Unnecessary. If I'm not even looking at the chat, I can't read it. Gotta give me a couple minutes to respond. Jeez. Chocolate fallow. I think that's a chocolate at least. Yeah, definitely chocolate. Oh, hey there. Why are you guys clear over there? How many gigabytes is the new update? I don't know, to be honest, Penguin, because I always do a fresh install whenever there's an update. So when I got the early access, I uninstalled the game, swapped over to the uh, early access build, and then reinstalled it. So I actually don't know how big the update is. Because the thing about uh, Call of the Wild is... A lot of times, if you're on PC at least, I don't know what it's like on console, but on PC, like after the update downloads, 
It then takes ages to install and overwrite old files. And it's just faster for me to uninstall and then reinstall than it is to like wait for it to update and patch everything. It's a weird thing with Steam. There's uh, also the same issue with Ark Survival Evolved. Got to be something to do with like how many updates the game has gone through. And how large the file is. Or how long the, la large the files are, I should say. Why am I using improper ammo? Because I don't feel like tracking them. However, for this one, we'll use the proper ammo because that looks like it could be a potential diamond. I can't tell if this is the 230s rack or if it's the two, uh, the low 250s rack. It could be either. So we'll see. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't see you. I didn't see that one right there. Got him. Let's go. Beautiful. While I'm thinking about it, I need to remove this song from my playlist. It's too... It's too slow for great one grinding. I need stuff that keeps me awake. What's my favorite map? This one right here. This is my favorite map. It, it's so good. Easily my favorite. How many kills am I at? 1,521. Are you the diamond wreck? I don't think so. Ooh, 242. Not bad. That's a good one, but it's not a diamond. Solid deer, though. Heavy metal? Ah, uh, we, we could. We, we could. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, let's see. Where's one? I think this is one of them. I mean, it's not really heavy metal. It's like punk, but close enough. You ever shot a rabbit before the great one? And they just float away. Wait, what? I have no idea. No clue what you mean by that. Most mammals can be melanistic to some type of extent, whether it's full body or patches. In the lion's case, it's quite possible a lion with a black mane is melanistic, and that. And that is as dark as they can get. Got you, Brandon. Okay, yeah, I wasn't too familiar with, like, the reasoning for that. That is uh, very interesting, for sure. Definitely very interesting. Ma'am, you put your head in front of him. I don't know what you expected. If you put your head in front of a buck, you're going to get shot. However, I can't seem to hit the uh, the other buck, so he's safe, I guess. Let's get that zone back into the grind. What class are kangaroos going to be? They're class four. Class four. All you got to do is go watch the uh, first video I uploaded on this reserve, and you'll see the level for every single animal, or the class for every single animal. How easy is it to set up a grind in Australia? Um, for Valo, it's very similar to setting up a grind for, like, Whitetail on Revontuli or Leighton Lakes. I don't know what it's going to be like for grinding Red Deer on Australia, but for Fallow, at least, it feels very similar to a Whitetail grind. However, Tiabaroa is going to be way easier because the Fallow are just so condensed and they're all out in the open. Is a blonde raccoon dog rare? Um, I don't think so, no. Um, only one person has found a great one fallow, Nate, and that is I buy premiums. There's a very limited amount of people that have early access, so 
There hasn't been an absurd amount of people even trying for a great one. Most people are just exploring the new map. I think me and I buy premiums are a couple of the only people that decided to grind for great ones in early access. Wait. Uh-oh. Is that a solo do though? Did I accidentally kill too much? Uh-oh. <laughs> I might have wrecked that zone. <laughs> I, I guess we'll find out. That's not good. That's not good at all. We'll have to see next run if uh, there's still nothing there. Or if we just randomly get a new herd somewhere, then we'll know. There we go. You know what would be... Wait, you know what would be crow or... You know what would be cool crow is if they added... Dog proof traps for raccoons on Mississippi and steel traps for coyotes or bobcats. There could be where you would have to buy food for your traps. I don't think... I don't think trapping would really fit the game though. I think they would need to make a separate game for that. It would be cool, but I don't think it would fit in Call of the Wild. What am I doing wrong? I've killed 3,000 red deer and still no great one. Uh, that is very normal, Patrick. That's very normal. Most of my red deer grinds were between 3,000 and 6,000 kills, with one of them being 6.7 thousand. You're at a very normal kill count. 3,000 is very normal for red deer. Nobody knows why, but they just seem to take a long time. Noxus, thank you for the super chat once again. Traps for mountain lions would be nice. Yes, please. Let me let me trap all those mountain lions around my bear zones so that they won't be a nuisance. That would that'd be great. <laughs> that would be amazing. Yeah, no problem, Patrick. Yeah, you're at a very normal kill count. Um, my first four red deer grinds were 3,000, 3,000, 6,000, and 6,700. So, you're at a very normal kill count. Make sure you're claiming all of your males. Like, anytime you shoot a male, make sure you claim it. Uh, leaving them can affect your grind, it seems. So, claim as much as you can. <laughs> what did I just watch? Gosh, dude, when they get put underwater, weird stuff happens, dude. It, just weird stuff happens. There he is. What happens if you don't claim them? Jaxy Beard has hinted on the EW streams that it might affect your chances of getting a great one. And the community kind of already had suspected that because people that were doing no claim grinds like took 10, 20,000 kills to get their great ones on average. Like anybody that wasn't claiming always took way longer than the people that were claiming. And so we quickly sniffed out the fact that it seems like it affected the grind. And then Jaxy kind of further confirmed that on stream where he said, you know, we can't say how the great ones work, but, you know, people have noticed that if you don't claim your kills, you know, it could have adverse effects on your grind. Will you please do an alligator hunting guide? Um, maybe. I mean, alligator hunting guide's not on the top of my priorities list because there's so much other things that 
I need to do with this new update. Gators are old at this point. I mean, given they got a rework, but... I still don't think a gator guide is something I'll be working on anytime soon because there's just so much other stuff that I want to do. Uh, there's a bunch of other guides people have been wanting me to do for the new map, for fallow deer, for stuff like that. Big four. Not going to make diamond though. But I don't see gators being like a, a top priority. Maybe a croc guide. I could maybe do a crocodile guide because they are a new species and come with the new map. So maybe. Oh, Leander. Gotta love it though, man. They give tons of money. How many kills is it usually to spawn a great one? Depends on the species. It seems like each of them have a different average. Red deer, it seems like two to three thousand. Uh, sometimes clear up to 4,000, sometimes more, obviously. Whitetails seem to be 1 to 2,000. Um, bears are like 1 to 2,000 as well. I've just got really unlucky with them. Moose seem to be like 500 to 1,500 for most people. Yeah, I ruined this zone. Oh, gosh. Oh, they're over there now. Okay, well, we found where they went. They merged with these guys. That's actually good, though. Because that means I can take this tent away. If that's just a solo, I don't need it there anymore. Alright, then. So that actually didn't turn out to be terrible. That was okay. How's the stream doing? It's doing good, man. Had a really good day today. We've been having a ton of fun. We've got probably the most people watching the stream that we've had in months at this point. I think the last time we had 700 people consistently was probably back when the Great One Moose released. It's been a while. It's good to see everybody excited for the update and super hyped up. I know I'm super hyped up. Things are, things are getting real. How many kills am I in for the Great One Fallow Deer? 1,533. And he is nowhere to be seen as of now, but hopefully soon. Anything good yet? Yes, we've got a couple diamonds on the day. Uh, we've got a diamond level four, which is apparently a thing now, which is pretty awesome. Pretty big news. Uh, we got a diamond level five, troll level five, and a piebald doe and a piebald buck. So we've had a solid, solid day. Hey, bro. bro. <laughs> Welcome back. Great one on the 1,569th kill. You know what? That sounds plausible to me. That sounds very plausible to me. Three, two. Couple little fellers, guys. Couple little fellers. We almost didn't get that second one. <laughs> I had to butt shot him. Not not exactly the best. Honestly, our kill count for uh Fallow Deer is looking pretty good. I think by the time we hit three hours, we will have 200 Fallow Deer shot. Which will average us out to about like maybe 65 to Actually, not quite 65. Like, maybe 63 fallow deer per hour, which is not bad. That's not bad. It really does feel like you can get a crazy good grind going on Australia for the fallow. Oh, 
Obviously, it would take a lot longer if we were full herd managing, but we're just doing like very light herd management. Is the Emerald Coast a DLC? Yes, it will be a DLC. All maps will always be DLC. Unless they, like, announce otherwise. I'm sure they would make a big deal about it if they did, like, a non-DLC reserve. No. Get back here. There's the other one. Yeah, the early access has been a lot of fun. It has been really fun. This map is beautiful. Twenty-seven hundred whitetail, no great one. I'm sorry to hear that, dude. It happens, man. Everybody gets a bad grind here and there. I mean, for me, the bear grind has been my bad grind. Eight thousand kills and nothing. Best species to hunt on Emerald Coast? I mean, obviously, it's going to depend on what you like most, but uh, the Sambar and Rusa are good fun. The Ruse are a blast, and the Crocs are pretty great. Banting are cool, but I've just found myself going for, like, the Ruse and the Crocodiles the most of the new species, and I think the Sambar deer. That's, like, been the three that I've hunted the most. They've been tons of fun. No respawns in that zone. You know, I shot the ones over there in hopes that I would get more to shoot, but I think they just moved. Which is not good. That's not what I hope to see. Maybe if I just pop a doe, maybe we'll end up getting a buck back. Maybe one of them will swap. It's hard to say. I guess they could just be delayed respawns as well. Is SRP getting a full pop reset? No, it's not. In fact, I don't think any of the SRP species are except for Plains Bison. I think that's the only one that's getting reset on there. You have to harvest the animals for a great one to spawn. Yes, Jtron, you do. You gotta harvest them. If you don't harvest them, it seems you're in for a very long grind from what we've seen. So I would definitely recommend picking up everything. It's gonna save you time in the long run. It may get like kind of annoying and tedious to be picking them up all the time, but it will benefit your grind. For sure. No buck back there. Greenland would be a good reserve. I don't really know too much about Greenland, but I hear a lot of people uh, saying they'd love to see it. Ooh, big boy four. Big boy four. Which rack is that? That could be a diamond. That might be a diamond, but I think it's two thirties, maybe. Two forties, maybe. Yeah, low 240s or high 230s, I think. Yeah, 240. Solid buck, but still not a dime. Close, though. Very close. Got a dime in Rue yesterday on my friends. A multiplayer joined him through Xbox. Got early. 
They don't do early access on uh, on Xbox Mystical. They don't do it on. Ooh, that's big. Uh, they don't do it on early access, or they don't do early access on Xbox. So, <laughs> good try, but it's not a thing. Holy, Mrs. Crow is in the building. Mrs. Crow is in the house, bringing that great one luck to us, hopefully. Becky, thank you for the super chat. Just saying bye. Hope you get it. If you do, congrats. Thank you so much for the super chat once again. Really appreciate all the support. Have I got any big rack diamonds? I don't know because they seem to have changed all the diamond racks. My biggest was like 262. And uh, I buy got a 266, so. Oh, that's a 246 right there. That was almost diamond. So close, man. So close. He almost made it. But not quite. Biggest before the update is 270. Yeah, it, it kind of feels like maybe they can't reach 270 anymore. We don't fully know yet, but it really feels like they don't reach that anymore. One thousand five hundred and forty nine kills. Oh, gosh. Any luck yet? Yeah, we got a diamond level four, diamond level five, troll level five, piebald level three, I think. And, uh, oh, level five right there. Is that the troll rack? I think it's a troll rack. Either way, we downed him. That's our 1,550th kill. Jeez. Big boy fallow. I don't think he's going to make it, though. Ah, 238. Unfortunate, 238. Ooh, nice. So, uh, does that mean lunch break's gonna be soon? Let me let me know when it's uh, ready, and I'll I'll kick the lunch break into effect. All right, everybody, let's get the let, let's get the hype emotes in chat. For Mrs. Crow making those delicious barbecue chicken sandwiches. Holy. I'm excited for those. Mrs. Crow keeping everything together. Making it so I can do these long streams for you guys. Holy. Ooh, that's a big boy again. Gosh, the big fallow are popping up. Just not a great one. That's not a diamond rack either, so we can pop him with the uh, good old 300. No respawns there still. A little bit, uh, a little bit unfortunate. What time is the update? It's pinned at the top of the uh, chat box. You'll see the pinned message. Tells you the approximate release time. One eighty one. Where's my sandwich? <laughs> How's it going, Chip? Hope you're doing good, man. We discovered that level four fallow can make diamond. That's pretty awesome. We also we also discovered that the female fallow deer have a different piebald than the two male patterns. So there's three different piebald patterns for fallow. One for female, two for males. 
We just keep finding more and more stuff out about these amazing fallow deer. Will access deer pop get reset? No. Oddly enough, it won't. I'm not sure why. Nice, Ben. Nice. Yeah, gotta get into it as quick as possible. I know. It's exciting stuff. This update is by far the most exciting update ever. So excited and happy. Still no mail there. Feels bad, bro. Feels bad. You silly red deer. I thought you were a thought you were a jumbo great one fallow or something. Two more down. One thousand five hundred and fifty five kills. Holy. Holy. Oh, gotcha, Chip. Gotcha. The fallow looks so majestic. They do. They're so beautiful now. I'm blown away. It's the best rework EW's ever done. The best species rework we've ever seen. 100%. Because, like, you know, with the moose, they just got a fur rework, right? With the fallow, like, the racks got reworked. Um, they added new furs. Reworked existing furs. Added more patterns to piebalds. Like, they outdid themselves with the fallow. I hope to see reworks like this to the whitetail in the future. That'd be good. Rework the whitetail, give them multiple patterns for piebald, maybe give them some new antlers, because let's be honest, True Rack's whitetail are kind of mediocre in terms of realism. Which is why so many people just go for the great one whitetail, because it's the best looking one. And then maybe some new furs for the whitetail great one would be cool. When the update drops, I'm definitely going to destroy all fallow deer. I don't blame you, dude. Gotta smoke them all. Will be everybody's uh, catchphrase for a while. Gotta smoke them all. Take them all down. Put those fallow in the ground. Also, guys, we are 1,558 kills in, which means I've killed 207 fallow deer since we started the stream, which is a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot on average per hour. We're actually doing really well today. Can I? <laughs> I can. Okay. That was interesting. <laughs> That was really interesting. I did, Flanky, but uh, he started before I did, so we're doing another race. I, by, and I are going to... Um, we're going to race to the first fallow deer, and then possibly after, we're going to race to see who can get their preferred combination first. That way we can keep this little like a uh, competition going on for longer. But yeah, he got the uh, he got the first fallow deer. I'm gonna try and see if I can get one in less kills though. We're at 1559 right now. Um, all of those kills except 180 have been since the 16th. So the last three days, we made pretty good progress, I'd say, considering I started quite late. I really want to see what we can do on Tiaboroa. I feel like the kill counts per hour are going to be nasty on Tiaboroa. Probably whitetail levels, if I were to take a guess. 
Bro, you freaking, you freaking red deer. I saw his rack above this guy and I was like, oh my gosh, it's huge. But no, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't. So, yeah, we're going to average more than 70 per hour this time around. We've now killed 210, which would be an average of 70 per hour since we started streaming. Ooh, that's beautiful. I thought it was bigger, but it's beautiful still. So, yeah, we're like... We're not even done with the three with the first three hours, right? We still got three minutes to go, and we're already averaging like 70 per hour. That's great. That is great. I can only imagine what the numbers are going to be like on Tiaboroa. If we're getting this much here, Tiaboroa is going to be like 80 an hour or more. When I shoot the great one, is it going on the counter? Yes, it will be. I'm not putting diamonds on the counter because they're not going to carry over. But I figure the great one's such a special trophy that I will count it as one of our great ones on the great one counter. I won't count anything else towards the numbers, though. Just the great one. Apparently not, uh, some random grump. Apparently not. It is what it is, though. Okay, this guy has not respawned here. Interesting. Yeah, Bebop. I figure, you know, I'll still have, like, the footage of the fallow deer. I'll still have, like, a video of it if we get it, so... I'll count him. Ooh, that's huge. Oh, that might be a diamond four again. That might be a diamond four again. Please be a diamond four. Nice, he's down. Please? Ah, 244. <laughs> so close, bro. So close. So close to diamond. Two smaller males. All right, we just hit three hours, and the uh, kill count for those three hours would be 214. Jeez. Yeah, it's an average of like 71 fallow per hour. We are killing it right now. Way better than the last few days. If I could have got 70 an hour the last few days, man, we would have been probably close to 2,000 at this point. Yeah, Panda. Yeah, dude. Uh, the I can't remember what the weight was on that level four we got, but we got a diamond level four earlier today. And I don't remember what it weighed. I'll have to go back and look. Sorry, ma'am, but there's only one buck, so you're going with him. Thank you, Beast. I'm glad you enjoy the content. Not really, Wolf Beast. I've been doing a very minimal version of herd management. I only managed down 
this river and like maybe a couple lakes and with the river I didn't even try to get only twos I, I just got it down to threes I just killed all the fours that I had there so it's only managed to a point where maybe it improves our chances of a diamond by just a tiny tiny bit it's still taking us usually like 50 to 80 kills to get a level 5 and half the time they troll No, I'm not grinding the river. The river's really annoying to grind. It's pretty much all solos. No mail there? What, or is that one? Hold on. No, no mail. I thought maybe I saw a spike. <laughs> but there was no spike there. Eighteen hundred? Maybe. Eighteen hundred seems plausible. I get a lot of whitetail at around like seventeen hundred, I've noticed, so... Like between fourteen hundred and seventeen hundred seems to be really common for whitetail. Maybe it's gonna be the same here for the uh, fallow. I'm calling it right now. If we're gonna end up getting it today, I think it's gonna be seventeen fifty. My prediction is 1750. Um, uh, maybe, David. What animal are you going for? What is best map to grind the fallow great one? Tiabaroa for sure. This will be a close second, though. And if nothing else, this map gives you a really good uh, variety of scenery while you're grinding. I can see a lot of people grinding it, even though Tiaboroa is technically a little better. Just a little bit. Seventeen fifty-one, eighteen twelve. Maybe. Going for white tail. Um, average is one to two thousand, so. It's possible you could get it soon, but it's not guaranteed, so remember that. It's not guaranteed. Could take a little longer, but usually it's sub 2,000. I've only had two or three whitetail grinds that were more than 2,000. One of them was pretty recently as well. It does, Bebop. It does. I'm so excited. The most hyped up release of Called Wild's history. It's going to be so good. It is going to be wonderful. Oh. I am so glad <laughs> the 300 fires fast. That could have been bad if it fired any slower. What was my highest red deer grind? 6,700 kills. What is the best map for red deer? Uh, Tiaboroa. Tiaboroa is. Yes, the 300 Magnum. Does herd management affect the Great One? Uh, not that we can tell, Patrick. It seems that it is very RNG heavy. So it's just a random thing that spawns when you kill that species. Some people suspect that herd management might affect them, but I haven't seen enough proof to say for sure. I mean, I've done 27 whitetail grinds and... I've got grinds of all kill counts using it and not using it, so. From what I've seen, there's not enough evidence to say that it does, but it's not impossible that it may. But from what I've seen, uh, there's not enough evidence to say that it does. It seems great ones are a random spawn like rare fur types.
Because I've had a lot of really long HM grinds and I've had a lot of really short non-HM grinds. I think right now, in terms of like uh, content creators, there's a few that are very sure that it affects it. Or that it affects great ones. And then the majority of the community either thinks that it doesn't or isn't sure. Most of the creators I've talked to think that it probably doesn't affect them, but that it's not impossible. It's just one of those things where right now we don't have enough proof to say that it does. Noxus, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Going to sleep. What is your comment on foldable bikes for use in multiplayer? Also, good luck on your great one grind. Ooh, bikes would be cool. That'd be interesting. Um, I don't know if they'd ever do it, but could be interesting. Maybe they, maybe they had like a weight limit, so you'd have to like pack light in order to use it. Hey, Zaki, how's it going? What time the map release for you? I don't know, Zaki. Uh, maybe you should check the pinned message that nobody likes to read. <laughs> I would have expected you to see the pinned message, Zaki. You've been here a lot for a long time. <laughs> Couple nice fallow there. They should put horses in the game. Yes, please. That'd be awesome. Horses would be my pick for a new, like, a transportation method. It doesn't show one for you? That's weird. Well, anyway, the pinned message says, Patch releases at approximately 2 to 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Convert to your local time via Google. So yeah, 2 to 3 a.m., as always. They they never really change their release time. It's always about the same. You know what? Actually, I'm going to put up a poll uh, that says the release date as well. But form it, like, as a question so it makes sense as a poll. There we go. Oh wait, I did it wrong. Hold on, I did it wrong. I hit three and it didn't add it. Scarecrow can't make polls confirmed. There. I did it right that time. <laughs> also, guys, I'm going to just leave you guys with that poll and everything, and I'm going to go get lunch. So I will see you guys in like 30, 30-ish minutes, probably a little bit less. 30 at the max, so stay tuned. Uh, sit tight. Hang tight. If you need to go get a snack or a drink, go do it. If you need to stretch, go do it. And uh, we'll be back in like 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how long it takes. So I will see you all in a little bit.
How's it going? We're back. We are back, if I tell ya. Oh, yeah. How's everybody doing? How y'all doing? We should get Crow to do a no-scope on a great one, but with any getting ones. I've already done two no-scope great one kills, so... Already done that, man. Did a Glock no-scope on a Red Deer, and I did... A uh, 45 Rolleston no scope on the, uh, the whitetail gray one. A lot happened. Yeah, tis life, you know. That's how it be. Always some troublemakers at all times. Great one ran past the screen. I bet it did. I bet you it did, man. I bet you it did. Yeah, that sounds accurate, Caitlin. <laughs> Chaos always ensues when Scarecrow leaves the room. Uni! Wow, come on. Be a great one. Jeez. Yeah, seems about right, Zacky. <laughs> uh, I would expect nothing less for a uh, day where we have more people watching than normal. What was the lunch? It was a barbecue chicken sandwich. Really good. Pretty fire, you know? Hey, goat, how's it going, dude? Glad to see ya. How was the lunch? It was amazing. It was phenomenal, dude. Phenomenal. Two more bucks down, but not a great one on the ground. <laughs> you did, Caitlin. That's amazing. <laughs> that was ama That's amazing. Round of applause for the moderators. Let's just take a moment to thank the moderators for help keeping the uh, the chat in order and in a state where I'm actually able to read a lot of the questions and messages that you guys come through with. Without them, it would be impossible for me to read everything. And even now, I can't read everything, but I try my best and definitely makes it easier to have good moderators.
One male there. Yeah, just one male there. Um, between five and six, Mets, yes. Holy Pike with the super chat. Really appreciate it, dude. Thanks, mods. Yes, thank you to the moderators for making everything possible. And Gunner, thank you for the super chat as well. How do you become moderator? I usually just mo make uh, close friends of mine moderator or like uh, people that are moderating for uh, other content creators that I'm friends with. That's really it. I try to keep it pretty limited so I actually know that I can trust the people, you know? Hey, AE, how's it going, dude? You should use the Mosin for the next great one. I actually killed... I think it was three or four great ones ago. We killed one with the uh, Mosin. It was a white tail. I've already used most of the guns on a great one. There's just a few that I haven't. That's got to be a five, right? Ah, oh, it's a big four. Just a really jumbo four, dude. Yeah, I deserve that. I missed that shot. <laughs> that was bad. How did I miss it? Oh, well, it happens, you know. Hey, someone smart, how's it going? There's the big boy. Probably 230s. 242, actually. Not bad. Hey, this lake right here, I have not seen a buck at for a while. I think I have two tents available. We might go check one of the uh, surrounding lakes and see what's there. Because I got to be missing some. Let's head up here and see what's there now. Where's the best place to hunt Fallow in Tiawaroa? The entire right side of the map, pretty much. The, uh, think of the map in like three thirds. The far right third of the map is going to be where all the Fallow deer are. What if there's a great one at a lake you don't hunt? It's very possible. There's been a lot of solos that I've shot, which is why uh, we occasionally do go back through some of the areas just to make sure. Have I got the great one yet? Nope, we have not. How's the axis hunting on the new map? I haven't done a ton of it, but it seems decent. It seems better than Parquet, that's for sure. We finally have a good axis to your map, man. We finally have a good one. I haven't hunted a ton of them, but like they've not been difficult to find from what I've seen. I find them feeding and resting very close to drink zones of like fallow deer. Kind of like this right here. We got the red deer walking around in the background. I run into a lot of axis in this way as well. All right, let's do a quick little reset. See if we can get the uh, fallow deer over here. Am I going to do a river run quickly to check what's there? Um, maybe at some point today. I don't know when, but yeah, at some point we will. Don't see anything new here. Yeah, nothing new here. Okay. Good to know. We 
actually don't need to do that again. We need to grab the tent. <sighs> Where else could they have gone? Maybe here? Maybe over there? I was trying to figure out where the bucks that were here have gone. We also need to check here again. Let, let's just go over here. See what's there. Any tips for starting a Call of the Wild YouTube channel? Yes, just make content that's unique. Try not to directly copy anybody or else it's going to slow the growth of your channel. Um, do your research on how to start a channel. I recommend... I recommend going on to YouTube and Googling... Or not Googling, but searching on YouTube how to start a YouTube channel in 2023. That's how I got my start. Hey, Miles, how's it going? Yeah, hopefully, Brownie, hopefully. We are hoping we can make it happen today. There's that two. Got to triple check that there's nothing else here. Yeah, looks like we're good. Okay, beautiful. Now let's go over here and see what's there. How long should a great one moose grind take? Usually 500 to 1500 kills, though it can be more or less. So, you know, that's just like the general average. It can definitely take a lot longer, too. But usually sub-1500. Thank you, Liz. Hopefully we get it. I believe. Where's a good place on Fallow and Tiabaroa? Uh, the entire, like, right third of the map. Anything good yet? Yeah, we got a few good things. Uh, diamond level 4, Diamond level 5, Troll level 5, another Troll level 5, another Troll level 5. Piebald level three, I believe. A piebald female. And is that it? I think that's it. It's been a decent day, though. Very uh, solid stuff we've been getting. What is the best loadout for Emerald Coast? I mean, my answer is usually the same. I have a universal loadout that I use for every map. I usually go 300 Magnum, 243 Handgun, 308 AR, and one of the 22 LRs. Doesn't really matter which one. That's like my go-to for every reserve. Um, if you're exploring a new map, though, you may want to fit a tent in there somehow. Oh, there's a new herd here. Oh my gosh. It was just solos here before. Now there's a herd. Wow. Oh, let me plop this here temporarily. Oh, good thing I did. We need another tent. Where will I grab that from? I mean, we're not getting any respawns in this one. Let's just go grab it. Would the Hunter Power Pack work for Emerald Coast? Oh, definitely. For sure, dude. 
Yes, Owen, I will be. Can't believe that. We got a herd there now. <laughs> When did that herd show up? Like, where did I delete that from? Don't grab a tent, pick up the outpost, and carry it. Dude, yes. <laughs> Got me there. Maybe, maybe that's what we should be doing. That's probably the way to go if we really want to... we really want to uh, customize our map. You know, if we ever get a hunting game where you can, like, build an outpost wherever you want that has, like, a clear space, the whole, the whole like, genre would be changed. That would just be game-changing, dude. Yeah, that's a solo three over there. Now, I bet we can get our... I bet we can get our tent up there, or maybe over there even. We'll see. We'll find a clear uh, shooting lane and plop it up there. Yeah, probably, Caitlin. I would say that's accurate. Because Bantang are quite thick. They're going to need something with the most penetration possible. 300 seems to have a little bit more than 338. Yeah, there's that solo. This zone is right there, approximately. Need to find a good spot where we can see it. Get a good clear view. Ah, this is not clear. Maybe further over? This might be a zone where we end up using a blind instead. Because the trees are making it kind of difficult to uh, see the zone good. This might be good over here, actually. What do you guys think? Will this be the spot? I think it is. I think this is going to be the spot right here. Need to grab the blind, though. Hunter, bro! Get out of my blind! <laughs> yeah, this should be clear enough. I can move around pretty good. We're gonna try this. I think this will be the one. Alright, let's get our loadout going again. Boom. Uh, hold on. I need to save it, I guess. There. And boom. Uh, let's start the run over. Not sure, Jimmy. You'll have to do the conversion off of the time that I have uh, posted. I, I haven't done any of the conversions for it. Uh, Google will allow you to convert it, though. Hey, Hunting Gods, how's it going? Should you shoot solo, fallow, red deer, or moose? Only if you're doing herd management. If you're not herd managing, then you don't have to. And I probably wouldn't recommend doing it if you're not herd managing. 
just because they move around all the time and it can be annoying to keep up with them. No more males. We only did a half run last time though, so I kind of expected it. No, Brody. Uh, they're the same rarity as always. It's just that it uses a different save file. Because people were getting corrupted game data. They were getting corrupted save files when they tried to make it so it could carry over. And so it's it's to preserve our save files and make it so we don't get like corrupt corruption in our saves. They made it a couple times to where we could carry it over, and it caused too many issues with uh, save file corruption, and then there was also a bunch of people that were complaining like, oh, why do the content creators get to keep the stuff that they get early when we can't even hunt the map yet? So for those reasons, they made it so you can't keep them. It's just that, an early access, separate, um, separate save. It's essentially a copy of our save file. There we go. All female red deer zones, what do you do? Leave them. Just don't hunt them. Don't shoot don't shoot them down or anything. Just leave them there. Cause that'll make it so you never have to look there again. In most cases. Holy fallow. This has been quite the grind. One thousand five hundred and eighty four kills, guys. One thousand five hundred and eighty four. I believe we got to get that great one. Two sixteen. Okay, so now that we've added this, we're going to have to go here now. 1584, Dusty. Yeah, for sure, Cody. They definitely do have a lot of similarities nowadays. Ooh. Gonna go to sleep like it, like that's gonna happen later, everyone. Happy hunting. Thank you, Huntress, for dropping in. Hope you have a good rest. Hope you're able to get to sleep pretty quickly. A new zone brings new things. We don't know how this one's going to react. We don't know how this zone's gonna react. Will these bucks end up respawning somewhere else? Will they come back here to the same herd reliably? What's gonna happen? Then we got these two over here. You little sillies. Down you go. Yeah, like 12 hours till release, Sammy, essentially. What difficulty does the diamond seek it here spawn as? Usually it is level five, but occasionally a four can make it. Let's go grab these.
Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Oh my gosh. That's gotta hurt. <laughs> I mean, if you weren't already dead, it'd probably hurt. Yeesh! Rest in peace to him. Few males here. Three of them actually, which is a lot. Usually we only have a max of two here. Nice, all three. Yeah, trolls are a part of the game. You know, you can't really take out trolls. Without trolls, the diamonds wouldn't be as cool. Think this is a big guy? Yeah, 220. Ken, thank you for becoming a member, dude. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. The emotes, the extra Discord channels, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh no, Mason, that sucks, man. You hate to see it. Definitely rough. Nice, Luke. Welcome back to the stream, dude. Hope you have a good hunt. Oh, nice, Foxy. That's pretty rare, man. Getting a level one piebald. Unless it's Whitetail. I guess Whitetail, that's not as rare because level ones are easier to get than other species. Oh, ouch. Jake is him. Thank you for the 22 months. Oh my gosh. 22 months as a member. Yeah, absolute legend. That's insane. That's a long time as a member, dude. Thank you so much for the continued support. Oh, it was a white tail? Gotcha. Okay. But the question is, was it a bullhorns or a fence rack level one? Oh, you've changed your name like three times. I was gonna say, I didn't recognize the name that much. So I'm assuming that it has been a bit since I've uh, seen you in the chat then. Name of song? Um, Purple Seashore by Toby Tranter. What is herd management? It is stacking low level animals up on your map so that you get more high levels to spawn. Makes it easier to get diamonds. So like for whitetail, if I stack my map up to 70% of my entire population being level one whitetail, the game starts throwing level threes at me like every 20 or 30 kills. It is a very effective grinding method if you're trying to get diamonds or super rares. And it is 100% backed by the developers as well. One more level three fallow deer. We're approaching 1600 guys. 1600.
Sheesh. So many fallow going down. Pretty wild, dude. Yes, there will be one new rifle. It's the 22250. It comes with Australia, so you have to purchase Australia to get it, but it will be a 22250. Which is pretty cool. Yes, there is a skin pack. There is indeed a skin pack coming tomorrow. And this right here is in it. Look at that wood pattern. That is in the brand new skin pack. So is this skin right here. And this one right here, which is a little harder to see, but that one's in there. Um, The one on the handle of this is in the skin pack as well. It's like a leaf pattern. So yeah. There is a skin pack and it's actually a really good one. I'm a big fan of the skins that are in it. Probably my favorite skin pack they've released. It's going to be purchasable. It is one of the uh, like premium packs. Oh hey, Axis here. This is what I was talking about earlier. I've, I've been seeing Axis deer just walking by whenever I'm hunting fallow deer. And there we go. Once again, walking by. Love to see it. Uh, speaking of love to see it, I would love to see if there's something over here. So we're going to go check it. How many kills have I got today? Uh, let's see. Approximately like 250. Knew it. There's a three here. This is why we occasionally check here. Because we do get one from time to time. He'll count 1,598. First albino whitetail scored 199.9 gold. Not bad. How many great ones do I have in total? 38. 38 great ones in total. With 27 of them being whitetail. Yes, of course I did, Kenneth. I talked to I by a decent bit, especially during updates. Fallow there. Nice little level three. Are the fallow being any nicer? Uh, yeah, we got a lot of, uh, diamonds and rares today. We got two piebalds, a doe and a buck, and we discovered that there's two different piebald patterns for the bucks, and then there's a different pattern that only the, uh, does get, so... We got a reason to, like, tax the piebald does now. And then we also discovered that level fours can make diamond for fallow deer now. Which is pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Did I main menu? I don't know if I did. We're going to do it again just in case. I mean, devs aren't going to listen to me, Rick. <laughs> I'm just a content creator that makes content on their game. Me saying like what I want isn't really going to have any sway over what they do. It's the collective in the community that decides that type of stuff, right? If it's something that everybody is requesting, then it's likely it'll get added probably. But me as an individual doesn't have like uh, any say over what gets added.
What PC do I have? It's a custom built one. Uh, if somebody wants to, if one of the moderators or members wants to put up the command, it uh, tells the specs of my PC. Oh, there it is. I was going to say, where's the other one? I know there's another here. What is the one minute trick? Um, I don't use exactly the same thing. I use something very similar, though. Um, everybody does it differently. Lady does one minute ahead. You just reset the time one minute ahead, and it'll, like, force animals into their zone a lot of the time. I just reset it to the beginning of the hour. But it's just a way to make herds get to their zone when they weren't there. It only works if you have a tent right at their zone, though. Like, right here. Let's say... Oh, my gosh. We got an extra buck here. Okay. Let's say that these guys weren't here. I would just reset the time till they show up. It gets really expensive, though. So, if you don't have a lot of uh, extra cash to use in-game, I don't recommend it. It's mainly for, like, if you don't care about cash and you just care about getting that great one fast... And you want your grind to go really quickly. Because obviously if you're waiting for animals to show up to their zone, it's going to take longer um, to get your great one. Because you'll just be putting in more hours waiting for them than actually shooting. So you can spam time resets to get them to go into their zones. And it gets expensive, but it saves you time in the long run. What's my largest rocky elk? Uh, I don't remember. I think it's around 5'11", though. Somewhere in that range. One male here, eh? Sorry, ma'am. But you gotta go, because there's only one buck here. One that I can shoot, at least. Two oh one, not bad. Decent. Um, I don't have a chart of them, uh, Jake, but you can just do exclamation point commands, and it'll take you to the Nightbot page that shows all the commands I have. Well, hello there. Big males. A big males everywhere. Sixteen oh six kills. No, I have a bunch of duplicates, uh, Kyle. There's only six different racks for Whitetail, for the Great One, uh, and then you can get a few like combination fifty fifty racks. But yeah, they're they're not all the same. Or they're not all different. There's a bunch that are similar. I think I've got like seven big rack whitetail great ones and like five or six cluster rack. And then the other ones I have is just a mix of uh, three of the other four. I'm still completely missing the uh, typical rack. Think it'll spawn at 1669? Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. That or sooner would be nice. Ma'ams, can you please tell the bucks to respawn here? I would love it if we could get a buck back here. This was a cool little zone, and they, they are just not respawning. Why 
Why are you just alert, bro? <laughs> what a silly. What a silly deer. He doesn't know what's best for him. I could have shot him easily. It was good, Dallas. It was good. Uh, leave two and below, Luke. Kill the threes, fours, and fives. Oh, hey, two more bucks. Nice. Two more of them, eh? That is a slaughter. <laughs> That's a slaughter of fallow. Oh, yeah, the red deer look awesome now. They did good with them. Let's change up the skin on our rifle. Maybe that's what we need to get the great one. Maybe we need to change to a different skin. Um, let's use some of the new ones. So, for those that haven't seen it, this is the new skin pack. Comes with all these. Honestly, it's not too bad. I think it's the best one they've added. I like this pack more than the New England one and more than the Hirschfelden one. Especially like this. I love this leaf camo and the two wood grains. I think they look really good. And the AR is going to get, we can do that timber pattern and that beautiful, love to see it. And actually, not bad. I kind of like that on there. Yeah, that looks good. That is solid, man. The great one does look ooh shiny. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, it wasn't for me, uh, Moof. It was I buy premiums. I buy premiums was the one that got the great one. He was 2,275 kills in the, into the grind. I think he started grinding like a few days before we could stream it, though. So he was already like over 1,000 by the time he was able to actually stream. Or close to 1,000 or something like that. I might be wrong. How did that miss? How did that one miss? Mind blowing. How did that miss, man? Oh, well. Yeah, pretty much. I buy pretty much. I spent most of like the leading up days just getting videos ready so I could grind on stream.
I spent so much time trying to get like videos ready. I mean, the first video I did was a 58 minute video. 58 minutes. I think it was like five or six hours of hunting, like cut down to 58 minutes. That video took way longer than I wanted it to. But it was worth it. It seems like everybody liked it. But coming the full release tomorrow, I will have as much time as possible to grind it. Oh yeah, it, it took a while, man. It took a while. But I mean, that's just how it is when you do like five videos a week and like five streams as well. It is what it is. Like I enjoy making the videos, so I try to make them as consistently as I can. But yeah, that, that video took like probably five or six hours to record. Uh, it took three to three and a half hours to edit. And it took about seven hours to upload and process on YouTube because it was so long. The like following videos I did took way less. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the processing was absurd. I don't know why it takes so long nowadays, but the last month my videos have took forever to process. Normally like an hour for an average length upload. And uh, because that video is 58 minutes, it's besides like, um, gosh, I can't speak. I'm trying to think straight. Um, what the? Four bucks? Four bucks here. That's a first. Um, as I was saying, normally my videos are like 15 minutes long on average, I would say. Like 15 minutes. And it takes like an hour, maybe an hour and a half to process like a 15 to 20 minute video. But yeah, because that video was 58 minutes long, it took like seven hours to process. Like absurd. Just absurd, man. It didn't used to be like that. Um, it used to be... It used to be that a 20 minute video would take like 15 minutes to process. I don't know what YouTube did to change that, but it takes forever now. At first I was thinking like, Maybe just because the channel's been getting larger, maybe they take extra time to make sure that everything is up to their standards. But it doesn't seem to be the case because it seems like even smaller channels are having that problem too with processing. Did I pick up all three? I'm not all there right now. Well, I'm just going to hope I picked up all of them. Yes, I do use OBS to record. I do. Oh, we got a buck here. Okay, so they're... We did get a respawn back. Nice. Reloading might have helped there, but, you know, we got him. Yeah, since that's since the battle is still pretty new, I've just been calling it like every single name. <laughs> I've just been like, anytime somebody's asking which rack you you got, I just say it's the Spoon Paddle Club Mickey Rack because I don't know, I don't know which name it's gonna be called primarily by people. So I'm just trying to cover all my bases by calling it the the Spoon Club Paddle Mickey Rack. We got a three popping up here again. Ever since I killed the two bucks in this zone, we're getting a buck here again. At least we know where it's going. 
Should have been the velvet rack. I wish they would have actually had velvet on it. It looked like there was velvet at first when they showed it off. I really thought it was. Then it turned out that it wasn't. Unfortunate, because velvet would have been really cool. And it would have made it really simple to, like, uh, have a name for it. Just like the velvet rack. But no velvet. Sad there's no velvet, man. Velvet would be the dream in Call of the Wild. Getting velvet on antlers, getting uh, drop tines and stickers on antlers, like all that type of stuff would be so good. Holy Levi's here. Hey, there's Levi. How's it going? Took me a second to scroll and find your name. How's it going, Levi? Good to see you, dude. Glad you could make it. Watch me struggle through the time race for the great one. We got like probably a max of six more hours that I can grind. And then I got to hop off and get ready to put my uh, daughter down for bed and get to editing tomorrow's video so that I don't have to do any editing in the morning. So if we don't get this great one within the next like five to six hours, then we're not getting it until full release. I might go even less than five to six hours just so I can prepare myself for a 12 hour tomorrow. Because I'm probably going to end up, uh, probably going to end up doing a 12 hour stream tomorrow. Go to bed at three? No, no. It's only 3 p.m. right now for me, so. Five hours would be 8 p.m. Six hours would be 9 p.m. My daughter goes to bed around like 10. So, I'll probably get off stream at like 8 or 9, get all my editing done and stuff like that, and then be ready for the update. You're staying up all night, Johnny? I mean, I want to stay up until the update drops, but... I can't go sleepless when I'm going to do a super long stream. I got to prep myself. How many fallow zones are on the new map? I have not kept count. I have not been keeping track of it. Okay, yeah, nothing else is spawning there. Just those two. Kill count? 1,621. Oh, Ripian. Feels bad, man. I mean, at least you're out camping, right? That makes up for it. Camping's always a good time. You know, I wonder how we're going to know that we found the uh, Great One Fallow. Like, are we going to spot the fur type first? Or are we going to see the rack? Are we going to... Like, what do you guys think is going to be the giveaway when we find this Great One? Do you think we're just going to end up seeing uh, the giant rack amongst all of them and be like, Oh, Great One! Or do you think we'll notice the different fur type? I feel like... I feel like if we uh, end up finding a Fabled Painted... I feel like that's going to stand out so much that I'll notice it by fur type. 55 zones? Okay, so... 
That seems, yeah, that, that seems probably in line with Tiabaroa. Maybe a little bit more. How much does Tiabaroa have? I think it's got to be around 50, right? I might be wrong there. Tiabaroa's probably got less, actually. Now that I think of it. Tiabaroa probably has less. Am I the only one getting the update at like 9 or 10 o'clock? Uh, it'll be at the same time. It'll release to everybody at the same time, but because parts of the world are ahead in time or behind in time, depending on where you live, right? Like, everybody's going to be getting the update in exactly like 11 hours. 11 to 12 hours. But because of time zone differences, it'll seem like it's later, but technically it's the same. Feel like he has more solos? Yeah, probably. It definitely looks like there's way more solos here. Because I don't believe there was any changes. I jumped on Tiabaroa briefly for like an hour and looked at all the zones I had on early access and they seemed very similar to what it was before. So I don't think they changed anything. Don't think they changed anything on Tiabaroa. I think it's still the same. Is it possible to do a one zone grind? It used to be possible with bears, but it's not possible anymore, really. Most of the time, you gotta hunt a couple zones to get the respawns moving inconsistently. I've noticed anytime you try to join minimal zones, you get problems. Yeah, I, I got all my tents on uh, Tiabaroa already. I placed them in like all the spots that zones can pop up. That way I can just get straight to searching those areas. I placed all the tents except two. That way I have a couple to like place down at zones that I want to grind. But um, yeah, for the most part, everything's already placed down and ready to go. And then I'll just move it accordingly. Another four. Got him. Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. Uh, well, I mean, they're not going to be identical. Sea Eagle, think of it this way. The home range is going to be the same. So there's going to be like the same areas, like the same range on the map where they can be. But you never have all the drink zones, right? Like, you never have animals in every possible drink zone. Your map just, like, chooses a set number of those drink zones. So think of it this way. Like, you could have 150 possible places that a fallow drink zone could be. And your map might choose 50 of those 150 or whatever. So you're not going to have them necessarily at the exact same zones as before. However, there will be... They will be in the same general, like, vicinity. <laughs> yeah, I buy for sure. Gotta, you know, gotta do whatever you can, right? I actually did a, uh, I did a stream before early access. Going around Tiabaroa, like, figuring out where all the fallow were. And then just setting up, getting ready. Because I wanted to make sure that I could jump straight into it on release. I don't know how early I'm going to start grinding, but probably after my video tomorrow. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Oh, well, did I reset already? Yeah, I think I did.
couple fours. Been a while since we've seen a five. Shut up. Don't make me shoot you. You're the one that did that, aren't you? You know, what? I'm going to shoot your girlfriend. <laughs> it never gets old seeing them flop like that. Yeah, definitely I buy for sure, man. I never really did anything with Fallow, so this is the first time I've gone for Fallow with HM. Take that. <laughs> Little kangaroo break, you know? 3,500 is not bad. So what would you say? Do Fallow Deer spit out diamonds more often? than Whitetail with HM. Because with Whitetail, I've got it down to be like a diamond every 15 to 20 kills. Are Fallow crazier? Because I know with Red Deer, I was able to get them down to like every 10. Every like 10 to 15. Are Fallow Deer just as insane as that? Or are they more like Whitetail for average diamonds with HM? Oh, gosh. You literally hit everything when you shoot the kangaroos in this pose. Poor thing. Demolished. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, so I'd say some super rares are going to be very, very likely along the grind. Like with uh, with Moose and Bear, I haven't got any super rares on the actual HM grind. But with Whitetail and Red Deer, I was always able to get a good bit of them. Like I think with Whitetail, I have three HM super rares in 36k kills. But like with Red Deer... I have 20k kills in total and like four super rares. It's so like with the red deer, I was able to get it to be a super rare every 5k kills. I'm thinking that Fallow might be the same. I hope at least. I'd love to get a, a collection of all three super rares for them. That'd be awesome. Actually, no, we'd have to get... There's even more now because there's multiple piebald patterns. So to get all of the uh, super rares, we'd need both piebald patterns and an albino and melanistic. No, Logan, no great one yet. Whoa, 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 whoa. How's it going, buddy? Jeez, that's wild, Ibi. That is wild. Yeah, I I did partial HM. Actually, I, I was doing pretty pretty decent HM on Medved. It wasn't as insane as Whitetail. I think I got to where I was getting a diamond moose every like 40 to 50 kills. But yeah, I, I never got a, a super rare off of it. All I got was that initial spawn, super rare Mela. But you know, to be honest, the way that moose work, it might not have even been an initial spawn. Because I've found that even like ones that seem like they're in a herd, they can be solos as well. And I never checked to see if that one was part of that herd. It could have been a solo respawn. Hey, chocolate level five. There we go. 
Chocolate level five. What rack is that? Hey, that's gonna make it. That's totally making it. That is totally making it. Beautiful. We love to see it. We love to see it. This one's got a high chance of making it. Could troll, I suppose, if it's really like tight on tip to tip spread. Or like overall spread. But I think it's going to make it. That looks good. Looks solid. 253 diamond. Let's go. The chocolate diamond's got to be my favorite. The chocolate just looks so good. Beautiful. Beautiful, man. And 200 on that little dude. Yeah, they are. The chocolate and the white look great. At first, I liked the white more, but the chocolate has grown on me. And it's probably my favorite fur type now. It just looks so good. It really reminds me of a lot of, like, IRL fallow deer. No solos there. Um, yeah, Sea Eagle. There is a couple of new uh, piebald patterns, though. There's a new piebald male and a new pattern for the female as well. Nothing new there. Uh, not sure, Cody. I think so. I believe they are. Big four. Lots of big boy fours. Yes, the Roos do have rares. So far, we have found Albino. And Lady Legend got two different looking Leucistics. Guess it's just that one. I think so, Cody. That should be. That should be small rack. Whoa. Hold up. That's a wonky dude. That dude wonky. You love to see it. Cool looking fallow. Nice, Jenny. Nice. That looks like your 249 troll. Really, Johnny? Holy. Yeah, I've never really seen any like that. Pretty cool. No, PM Gamer, we have not got a great one yet. I'm playing the exact same update that you guys will be playing tomorrow, Move. So everything you see in this is what you will expect when the update hits. Okay, I'm still getting used to that sometimes. Ooh, are you? Close, not quite a five. The big boy, though.
Couple nice fallow there. What time does it release? Uh, it's in the pinned message, and it's also in the poll. 239. Those ones with the 230s rack really trick you at first. Like, they, they look like diamonds until you see the estimate or get a closer look at them. Maybe it's time to run the river. Yeah, we might run the river soon. Try to get an idea of what's there. Kill off any fours that have shown up. Yeah, hamster. We got a few diamonds, a few trolls. Uh, piebald buck, piebald doe. One thousand six hundred and forty kills. We have almost hit three hundred kills on the day. Just because I want to, Austin. I've been asked that question so much today, I, just, I don't want to give the full answer to it. <laughs> hey, piebald! Nice! It's a level 4 piebald. Holy. There we go. Level 4 piebald. That's a beauty. That is the brand new pattern as well. Love to see it. Love to see it. Yeah, I'm not going for him. Not nah, gonna go for him. Look at that beauty. One eighty, it's a silver level four, but it's still a level four. Still really cool. Beautiful, dude. Beautiful. You love to see it, I tell you what. You love to see it. Where'd the other one go? This him? Yeah, 200. Yep, that'd be him. That is him, man. The grind's going good? It is. It's been pretty solid. Hey, that could be good. That one's got a chance of being good, too. We're about to find out. Please? Ah, oh, 247. This is the correct rack to get diamond level four then. Cause that's 247.90. Just over two points off of diamond. Solid bro, solid. We're getting some good ones this last couple runs. We got a diamond, a troll, or er, not a troll. 
a diamond, we got a level four that was almost diamond, and we got a pie bulb. Pretty good last few runs, I'd say. What's happened so far? A few diamonds, a few trolls, a few piebalds. That is what has happened. Looks like the 230s wreck. Yeah, it's very similar, but I think it's wider. I don't know what the other differences are, but it's definitely wider. I'm not really wore out, Andrew. It's more of just like I'm running out of stuff to talk about because I've been streaming for five hours now. And like almost 30, actually probably over 30 hours the last uh, three or four days. There's only so many times where I can say like, oh, level four fallow deer. Oh, let's take this shot. You know, after a while you run out of stuff to say. And I'm also trying to preserve my voice. I've kind of wrecked my voice from all the streaming the last few days, so my voice may sound a little lower at times. Just because I need to preserve it, because I'm going to have a, like, 12-hour stream tomorrow with the release of the map and everything. Gotta preserve the voice, man. Your first trophy was a great one? Well, that's a crazy first trophy. That's wild. I mean, the big thing for me, Cody, is that I get to share it all with you guys. I definitely, I don't think I'd be able to grind this much if I wasn't making content with it. It, it gives you the motivation to do it. Because I know it's not just for me. I know it's for you guys as well. And that anything that I get, it's going to be making content to entertain all of you that watch the channel. And so it, it helps keep me motivated, you know? In situations where maybe if I wasn't making videos and streams, maybe I wouldn't be as motivated, you know? Definitely helps out a lot. Oh, man. What do we got here? Oh my gosh, it was so close! Another one that was like one point below dime. Gosh, so close, man. So close. That's insane, dude. That's insane. Yeah, I think Fallow will be a bit more fun. At the very least, they're not as late to their zones as Red Deer. Red Deer can be annoying with how late they are. Yeah, probably, Tony. That seems likely. It wants me to keep uh, coming back to the game, you know? It's like, I'm not going to give you what you want. Because I know that you'll keep grinding if I don't. Big boy four again. Big boy four again, man. This is probably going to be top of that estimate over at 240-ish. And that is kill 1,650.
Actually, 214. I was wrong. I stand corrected. Yeah, 100 more kills till we hit my uh, my estimate of where I thought we'll end up. Two more down. Maybe, Rick. We'll see. Yeah, YK for sure. They can trick you. Definitely. Yeah, maybe, Devin. Maybe. Two bucks here. Okay, that's not normal. We had two when I first got here. We killed them both. Then for a while we had zero. Then a couple runs we had just had one. Now we have two again. What about solos? Nope, no solos. We're good. Beautiful. Hey, Zach, how's it going, man? Why do I want an early access great one? I can't keep it just for the experience and to say I could get one, man. It's a challenge for me. And like I still would have video of it, so I'd still be able to go back and look at it. To me, it doesn't matter if I can keep it. It's the fact of trying to get one in early access when I've got limited time and being like one of the first people to get one ever. There's a whole lot of reasons I want to go for it. On top of that, I'm a grinder, so this is my favorite thing to do in the game, so... Two there. Sixteen fifty six. All right, Johnny, I'll uh, I'll check it out in a bit. Um, it's impossible to get your map to only ones and twos, Landon. So you definitely have some you're missing. If your entire map is ones and twos, you're missing some zones. Because you can't get a map to be completely managed down to where it's nothing but low levels. Especially since you said you haven't got a diamond yet. You're missing a lot of zones then. You're missing a lot of zones. How many zones do you have for your Seek It Ear?
do 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 you're not a great one Yeah, Seeker move all the time. They do. Oh, man. Not sure, Spatial. Not sure. How was the fallow grind? Exhausting. Exhausting, but good. It's a good grind. No, Brody, I already got one. Although, if you're asking, like, overall, I think I was the first. Because I got a whitetail uh, during the AR pack release. I did get a whitetail great one in early access a while back. I think it was, like, my fourth great one ever. Or something like that. Fourth or fifth. I think it was my fifth ever, actually. So, I, I think I was the first to get one in early access. But, I bet I was the first to get a fallow. Did I get to keep it? That one I did. That was one of the two updates where they let us keep them. That was one of the two updates where progress uh, transferred over. Which was the only reason why I even like tried to grind back then. I'm pretty sure I only killed like 200 whitetail as well. I killed like 200 whitetail. And he ended up respawning at a different zone because I, I used to delete my zones all the time. I used to wipe out the entire herd when I would grind. Which later I discovered that's not the best way to grind. Better to keep track of where your zones are. But back then I used to just wipe every zone out. And at the time I thought it was an initial spawn. Because of the fact that I used to wipe zones out. So like I never knew when it was an initial spawn. Or if it was a zone that I just happened to delete and it moved. The more I got to, like, learn how to grind and learn about how things respawn and stuff through playing the game a ton, I don't think it was an initial spawn. I'm pretty sure that it just respawned from my mass herd slaughtering. Um, I don't believe so, Cody. I don't think so. Don't think we do. I'm pretty sure that's, um... Not a West Coast thing. Could be wrong, but I don't think it's a West Coast thing. Got a pie white tail. Nice, Musa. That's awesome. Two seventeen. Nice, Campbell. That's awesome, dude. Congrats. Mass Earth Slaughtering on Prime Rancher were the days. It was a fun time, Lunar. I got two super rares off of that, too, before I even knew what herd management was. That was craziness. Two diamond pieballs, two days in a row. Without herd management. That's got to be, like, the pinnacle of, like, my crazy kills. It's not every day you get back-to-back -back super rares. Like two days in a row without herd management. That was quite the feat. I still can't believe that I ever pulled that off. And I remember I talked to Jaxi, you know, like a year after that. Uh, like a few months ago, I was talking to him about it. And he was saying that like when that happened, like him and like a lot of other people like throughout like the uh, community were like that is crazy like that is insane that is like the chances of that happening are so slim it was quite a time man rancho used to be so fun 
<laughs> it was, it was, it was the way to go back then. I wish Rancho was still as good as it used to be. It's not terrible. It's just not as good as it was. Rancho used to be so good for Whitetail. Grinding on Rancho is not going so well. Yeah, they're not in the greatest places nowadays. They added them to a lot of the really brushy, hilly lakes and took them like partially away from some of the really good ones. They spread Whitetail out so much. And it kind of made Rancho just not get used anymore. Except for like a few people that want to want to experience the Rancho grind. But yeah, most people don't do it anymore. When I stack diamonds, should I only stack ones that can make it or trolls also? Um, if you know for a fact it's going to be a troll, I'd probably not stack it, but... If it still has a chance of being a diamond, but could also be a troll, it's probably fine to leave it. I mean, I leave small racks. Welcome back, uh, Camden. Two nineteen. Do you shoot exterior zones as well? Not much. No. Since this is just early access, I'm really not focusing too much on exterior zones. Primarily focusing on my main zones. I'll occasionally check the uh, rest of the map. Just to see if a great one has randomly showed up there, but I'm not worried too much about it since we're in early access. I'll go hard once we get the uh, full release. There we go. Got a super rare piebald whitetail deer. Holy dude, that's awesome. Congrats on that. Yeah, definitely, uh, sorry, but it is very odd that it's, like, the opposite. But I think it's just the way the game is set up. Like, the way they, uh, the way the game figures out how to spawn, like, diamonds and stuff, it's just, just the way they designed it. Got your first great one today. Awesome. That is awesome, dude. Well, whoever said 1,669 was not correct. Because that was 1,670 right there. Feels bad, man. My prediction was like 1750. So if we get it in the next 80 kills, then I'll be right, but hard to say. We will find out soon enough. <laughs> it's amazing, Luke. I already put it in a YouTube short, Evan. But we've had so many whitetail at this point that I don't really bother with making a full video for every great one whitetail because most of the time, a lot of people are tired of seeing whitetail in full videos. So I just make them into a YouTube short if I don't do a full video. Because I mean, if somebody wants to see the entire kill of the great one, they can go back to the live stream that I got it in. But like nowadays, uh, I've hunted so many white-tailed deer great ones that a lot of times people don't really 
like it when I make videos on Great One Whitetail all the time because I've already done so many of them in the past. So I just make YouTube shorts for a lot of the recent Whitetail Great Ones. But anytime I get a different Great One like uh, a moose or if I get the bear or any fallow we get, there will of course be full videos with them. Honestly, it's not as bad now, Cody, because uh, YouTube has that feature where it'll show like the places that people skip to the most. And so you just find the spot that people have skipped to the most and it's likely where the great one is. And a lot of people will put the timestamp in the comments. Pretty much every time I get a great one, somebody puts the timestamp in the comments. To make it easier for everybody else to find. So there, there's way to find there's ways to find it. Yeah, still no bear. Still no bear. I wouldn't wish an eight kill grind on my worst enemy. <laughs> that, that bear grind's been brutal. You know, something tells me that I'm in such that because I'm in such of a robot mode right now, just like go to zone, shoot, go to zone, shoot, not really like paying too much attention. Something tells me it's going to take a few seconds to register when I find a great one. If I find one. How many have I hunted? 1,674 fallow deer in early access. <laughs> I believe in you, Adeline. I believe in you. You got this. Yeah, three piebalds on the day, Dawn. And we're at 1674 kills. Pop goes the fallow. Oh god. Oh my gosh. You think fallow great one grind is going to be easy? Yeah, I think it will. I feel like in most grinds it's gonna be like a white tail. I feel like most fallow grinds will be like white tail. Which makes sense, they're very similar. I main menu after every run, Landon. The end of every run. Yes, yeah, silly little feller. I'm used to, but I don't think we do any more, Cody. If we do, I haven't seen one in a long time. Rarely call the wild. You're going to do that to me, okay.
No, David, they didn't. White isn't a rare. So they did not get rid of albino. White is just a uh, uncommon slash common. And it's completely different than what an albino is. White's a normal thing. Uh, albino is like an actual, like, uh, what's the word? I mean, albinism is completely different than, like, the white fur type. White fur type's a normal thing for fallow deer. We just didn't have them in the game for so long. No, it shouldn't be hard to tell because the white fur variation has a bunch of spots and it's got a gray tint. The uh, albino is going to be completely albino. So it won't be difficult to tell, no. It should be very easy to tell, actually. Oh no, Hector, that's unfortunate. So close, yet so far. Mrs. Crow is here again. Howdy doody. How many kills am I at? Uh, 1,679. Nothing there. Ah, you shouldn't have got another ad, David. I don't run mid-roll ads. I only do, like, an ad whenever you enter the stream or... Yeah, just whenever you enter the stream. There shouldn't be any mid-rolls. No, I'd, I'm not adding these diamonds because it's not the uh, same build as the live is, Henry. I'm not adding any of these diamonds to the diamond counter. Once we get full release of the update, we'll start adding them again. YouTubers control ads. Yeah, we get to choose where we place them, right? We can choose to either let YouTube choose where the ads are, or we can place them wherever we want. I always put way less ads than what YouTube recommends. Uh, cause the thing is like ads is how YouTubers make a living off of doing YouTube. Ad revenue is the way that we're able to actually, uh, make a living off of it. I put quite a few less ads than most people do though. Like whenever I see YouTube, like YouTube recommends doing an ad like every couple minutes. And I'm like, no, that's way too much. Like. Two ads in a 17 minute video is about the most I'll go. Like if it's like a 20 minute video, maybe I'll do three, but usually I just do two in the middle. And then of course the one at the beginning and end. Cause yeah, YouTube lets you choose where to place them. I try to make sure that they're not too invasive. It's a, it's all about finding a balance of like making sure that I've got enough to where I can live off of it. And also making sure that it's not too much to where it's annoying, right? I try not to make it too annoying. I know, right, Evan? Some YouTubers put, like, 10 ads in a video. I've seen some, like, of the, uh... 
I can't remember whose video it was. I think it was Moist Critical. He was making a video talking about, I believe it was Ali A. How that that dude's got like seven ads in a ten minute video or something. <laughs> and I'm just thinking that is absurd. Why would you ever put like seven ads in a ten minute video? That's absurd. How much do you make per ad? Not very much. It's like two or three pennies. But when there's a lot of when you have like. 10,000 people that watch a video, right? It adds up over time. Yeah, it's just like a couple cents per ad view. Oh, wait, that looked like a dime. Hey, it's a dime. There we go. We got a dime there. Nice, man. Good to see another five showing up. You thinking 256, Johnny? Maybe. Maybe. How does it work uh, if members are paying for YouTube Premium? YouTube Premium makes it so you get no ads. Like, if you have YouTube Premium, you get no ads at all. But if somebody with Premium watches your video, they give you a couple pennies uh, in, like, premium revenue. 254. So they make it so it's the same as if they were watching ads, essentially. YouTube just puts some of that YouTube Premium membership towards the creators that that person watches. So they make it work. Tax that bad boy. Holy! Uh, yes, Katie, I will have to rediscover everything. And none of the trophies that I got during this period will count into, uh, like, my main profile. Or my main save game. I always call it a profile because I'm used to, like, old games from, like, the early 2000s. <laughs> back when, like, everything was called a profile. But yeah, none of this will carry over to my main save game. So I will have to start from scratch on Emerald Coast. And uh, I'm going to be doing the fallow grind on Tiabaroa. Uh, we're doing like a mild one right now, Hornet. It's like... It's such low herd management to where we're not getting a ton of increased diamonds, but we're getting like a couple more than normal. But on full release of the update, we'll be doing a really extreme herd management grind, trying to get some super rares. Because I badly want to get a uh, super rare of the new piebald patterns. And an albino super rare too, because I don't have an albino at all. So to get a super rare albino, that'd be crazy. Sixteen ninety kills. <laughs> Love this skin on the 300. Honestly, I think it looks really good on it. The whole leaf pattern is one of my favorites. Yeah, I already checked for Fallow on Tiaroa, Charles. It's pretty much the same as it was before. They didn't move them around. Because then I don't have to track them if I make a bad shot, Evan. Kills them pretty much instantly, and if I make a bad shot, they'll barely run at all. Just saves a lot of time. What am I going to do if I get a great one in early access? Be incredibly happy and excited that I get to show it off to you guys. And that I will have completed my challenge of getting one before early access is done.
Holy. Nice, Johnny. One side is three times and the other side has five. That's wild. That is wild for sure, dude. Crazy. Some of those seek a deer can be nuts. We need a seek a deer great one. We do. Seek a deer great one would be incredible. Um, I hate it, H HJK. I hate it. Don't like that it's possible. How many tents can you have per map? 16. 16 tents per map? Oh, there's the other one. What's my most memorable great one? Uh, probably the fabled two tone. Fable two-tone moose, I would say. Because that one was... It's like one of my dream combinations out of 24 different combinations. Like, I never expected to get one of the combos I wanted for moose. So to get that was just mind-blowing. And it happened at such a weird time. My moose were misbehaving so bad. Their respawns were just all over the place. And then he showed up. You probably tell by how like extreme my reaction was in that, uh, to seeing that thing that I was pretty happy to find it. No, Michael, this is the last, uh, the last day of early access. So it's the, uh, last chance. It's my last chance to get an early access great one. Which is like a bit of a, an achievement slash goal that I've set for myself. To see if I would be able to do it. Did I ever think about grinding for an ultra rare? I mean, any time that I'm grinding Whitetail, I'm grinding for an ultra rare. However, the chances are just so low that it's likely it'll never happen. No, Casey, not in early access because none of this carries over to the main uh, save. Everything we get in early access, we don't get to keep. So I'm not adding anything to the diamond counter. I will add the great one, though, because it's kind of a special thing. But I'm not adding diamonds to it. Yeah, if we get a great one, I'll add it. But not the dimes. Yeah, ultra rare is a great one with a rare fur type. So like an albino great one would be an ultra rare. How much longer will I stream? Not sure. Uh, it runs off a different save file, Jake. I essentially just opt into the beta build or whatever and then... Or I guess the like early access build. And it uses a different save file, so we just copy our save file to the early access, and then it's essentially just a copy of our main... It's a copy of our main save. So it doesn't actually go towards our main save, it's just a copy of it. And as far as I understand, you cannot, like, move the save over after early access is done. I'm pretty sure some people tried that last time, and it didn't work. It corrupted the files. 
So yeah, nothing will, uh, nothing can be kept. Because it's a separate save. Yeah, definitely. I can always revisit it. Although usually I delete the early access save and replace it with a fresh copy of my main save every time we get an early access just so I've got like all the changes I've made to like tripods and tents on the map. Maybe I'll make an exception though if we get a great one. If. If. Because at that po at this point, I'm getting real tired. We've been going for for five and a half hours. I still got editing I got to do. I still got to do a little recording. Like I got to record an intro and outro for the video. I'm really tempted to take a break and then come back and stream later. Because my video goes live at 6 p.m. Maybe I'll come back and stream at 7. Was the time for you? It's only four, but I woke up at like six in the morning. I woke up at like six. Got everything uploaded, got some breakfast and stuff. Um, I started streaming at like 1030, I think. I started streaming really early today. Way earlier than normal. Usually I start streaming at like 1 p.m., but I started at 1030. And with those two kills, we had 1,700. And as much as I want to get this early access great one, I also don't want to push myself so much to where I can't make it a full 12 hours tomorrow. Like, I would love to get this early access great one, but... I just don't know if we can keep going for too much longer without uh, risking me being too tired to finish tomorrow's stream. And like tomorrow's when it really counts because that's on the live build. What? <laughs> what a tiny guy. What's up, little feller? You're adorable. Big fan. Yeah, Jake. Normally, I wake up at about 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock is my normal wake-up time, so 6 is a bit early. I went to bed at like 1.30 last night, so I didn't get much sleep. Went to bed at 1.30, woke up at 6 o'clock, so I got like four and a half hours of sleep. All right, later, Johnny. Only reason I was up so late last night was because I was editing today's video so I could do this stream early. But yeah, I'm kind of kind of regretting it. I am tired now. Yeah, that was a small male for sure. That dude at the other zone was puny. It was a tiny feller, I tell ya. How many Master Crows do I have? Just a few. I think like three. I think there's like three people at the Master Crow level of membership.
Definitely A Rod. Definitely my dude. What color is the badge? Uh, badge color is not based on the tier that you're uh, a member at. It's based on how long you've been a member. Nice, Alan. Big four. There we go. Thank you, Eclipse. I appreciate that. Two thirty seven didn't make it. Yeah, we'll see him. I don't know how much longer I can go. No, like once it the thing about YouTube ads right is as long as you have seen the ad for like one second uh, the creator gets credited with the the money for that then right so you don't have to watch the whole thing all you get literally all you have to do is like see the ad for like a second or two and it will uh, it'll count as an ad view for the creator you can skip them the second it tells you to skip. How many months for the rainbow badge? Uh, 24. It's the two-year badge. Uh, it's essentially... Uh, the reason it's a rainbow is because it's a combination of every badge before it. So it's a combination of all, of all the colors of my other badges put into one for the 24 months. One thousand seven hundred and ten kills. Jeez, that's like what? Three hundred and sixty kills or something in one day? Something like that. Uh, yeah, move. I got a few of them. I think I got three, maybe. I think I have three or four of them. Where's the other one? Non-vital, okay. 
That makes more sense. Yo count, uh, 1,712. I have a pattern horn. I always go in the same order. That way I give them as much time as possible to get the respawns back to the zones. I should do a thousand kill stream. That'd be like 15 hours of streaming. done it before I actually haven't I haven't done a 15 hour I've done 13 13 was the most I ever made it and it was early access day one ma'am your stupid nose got in the way how dare you how dare you Alrighty guys, I think we're going to go ahead and end this stream here. I'm getting absolutely worn out from the lack of sleep. Um, I need to get a recording done still. I got a video going live at 6 p.m. And I need to get some sleep before we start grinding like crazy tomorrow. So I think we're going to go ahead and just uh, cut our losses and call it quits there. It is what it is, but... Unfortunately, we couldn't get the great one in early access. Hopefully, this will just mean that we have a short grind ahead of us for the Tiabaroa Fallow grind once the update hits. So, stay tuned. We're going to go crazy with that. Going to try for a 12-hour stream day one. So, stay tuned. It'll be crazy. But I will see you all in the next one. Peace. Peace.